Hello there mortals, I am Jensen and welcome back to Amnesia Custom Stories. Today we are playing Lost the Lights, uh, high quality or um, high definition, I don't know, I think this is an audio thing, but we're just going to fire into it. Oh, lore! Summary, the Human Life Safeguarding Project will secure humanity's future forever. Inhabiting more than 150 volunteers, this is the biggest revolution yet. So it seems, I don't know how it could possibly be bigger than France. Emerging into the biggest scam known by men, you gradually discover that you are the only one able to end this insane corporation and its uninformed workforces. And it does sound like the French Revolution, actually. Will you ever discover who you are and why you are here? The only reasonable thing to do is stopping the tyranny of humanity. The lost souls deserve to be unchained from the twilight they fell in. Let's fire it! I don't know what they mean by, by background, but oh my god! What the hell am I looking at? Uh, you awaken in a field. Fine. Which way do we go? Guillotine time? I'm hoping it's guillotine time. It's just jump scares that make me flinch. Uh, honestly, if my big boo when I came back from the toilet didn't get you, then chances are jump scares in amnesia probably won't be as heart annihilating as, as you might think. Okay, I found what looks like Khazad Dune. Dune, sorry, Khazad Dune. The high quality version! Wow! Amnesia Custom Story lost the lights! Whoa! Look how high quality it is! What is that, like 720p resolution? <laughs> wow! And still, the loading screens are not amazing. That's a nice door, not gonna lie. That, it, it doesn't do anything! Oh, that is atmospheric. I actually really like this. Take a screenshot of that. Okay, so, uh, should I know anything about the premise of this game? Is there any, like, prerequisites to knowing the lore of this? Looks like some spiderwebs down there, and looks like somebody also spilled a, either a bottle of wine or a bottle of raspberry jam. Is it voice? Let's find out. No. Info folder. The Vault. Welcome to The Vault, a human life safeguarding project by Adam Widler. The project started in 1778 as a wild idea, but was later realized by Widler Constructions in 1976. It served well for more than 50 years as a successful program for a safe environment. Safe environment, not safe. And the community became very close as well. After all these years of service, the vault needed renovations in 1839, which were provided by James Priest Incorporated. Our current population consists of at least 150 inhabitants. For even more information about the vault or your stay here, contact your district administrator. We hope your revolutionarily... We hope our revolutionarily isothermal technology keeps you warm, safe, and well lit. Thank you for signing up to the program. Is this a radiation thing? Nope, I've set everything up for you in a very specific order so you know... Okay, very good. I just know Base Amnesia has a creepy creature. That's as far as I know. There's a couple of creepy creatures in it. Actually, I jump scared my own self when it comes to Amnesia The Dark Descent uh, by quick saving the game right in front of like the dead corpse of an enemy and in the next episode I fired up the game on a different day and as soon as the game loaded in I had that creature on the whole screen and it scared the ever-loving piss out of me which I was pleased to say uh, I did go to the bathroom and it was not um, yellow it was quite clear which doesn't surprise me I am quite OH MY GOD Sleep. Okay, that one got me. That one got me. It does have cool creature designs. It does have really cool creature designs. Okay, we did exactly as they suggested. We slept. But at what cost? <clears throat> oh, there's a shirt in here. We just have to break this open. Okay, the fire's already lit. Let's find some kind of weapon to bust that open. Okay, we gotta get used to seeing in the dark, right? Because uh, oil is a sparing. The hell? Why can't I pick that chair up? Is there a note about this? No. Nope. Uh, if the wind blows any harder, that window will collapse, I am afraid. I was dragged into the wobbly bed, and the first thing I saw when I woke up were a bunch of terrifying stone figures. I need to leave this ominous place at once. Good idea! How about we work on that right this effing second? Okay, got one tinderbox. I don't know if we can get this other one. Unless we lean. Ah, oh, that works. Good. 
The Silent Hill movie made me afraid of driving in the fog. I grew up in the Silent Hill place. I lived in a coastal area flanked with mountains. So every morning, 6 a.m., fog would roll off the hills and blanket the area. Then the sun would rise at 6.20 a.m., covering it in red fog. Makes the, all of the clouds go red. And at 6.30 a.m., the fire station would test out its fire alarm, which is one of those old-timey ones. I literally grew up in Silent Hill. I loved it, actually. It's probably one of my favorite franchises by far. Uh, oh, we can't take that shirt. I think it was just a decoration. That sucks. But I suppose it's fine. It's understandable. Can we play the piano? God, I love Silent Hill so much. A lot of people absolutely hated the movies, and I have no idea why, because the movies had such cool creatures. That scene that where uh, Daddy Bigswood like picks up that lady and just peels off her skin in one big sweep, and the mannequin spider, those two things, absolutely awesome. Wait, why couldn't we move the... Okay, sure, I don't care. Diary of Adam Whittler, 16th of August, 1840. The development of my project went too fast. It all went wrong. The last power stone from the temple, actually, this whole temple, were only known to me. This was the whole reason I started this damn secret project here, but I did not foresee the immense power that occupied this stone. People blame the construction company of James Priest Incorporated for the approaching collapse of the vault, but I know that this is not his responsibility. I still wanted to escape until I discovered I was also poisoned, like my arch en enemy, Clyde Randall. That bastard, Clyde Randall. Dr. Jingle did this, I am sure. He wanted the power for himself just like I did. He could not be trusted, so no one so, so could no one that was involved with the power of the temple, so I had to kill him. I read fast, but I have dyslexia. It's a bit of an issue. Pyramid Head. Yeah, I love Pyramid Head. I would be afraid if I lived in the place you described. It was my childhood home. I literally didn't have a choice. Dude, that's like the dream location for me, though. There's there's more than Pyramid Head. I actually loved it. I loved just walking through, like, a two-meter visibility fog. It was so soothing, so relaxing. You couldn't hear any of the cars because uh, sound doesn't travel very far through the fog. So it was, it was very, very peaceful. And I had to walk maybe like 10 blocks to my primary school. So that was five years of doing that every single morning. It was quite nice, actually. The power of the temple corrupts not only the minds of the victims, but also the minds of the beholders. Now everybody will die that is involved in this project and no one will ever claim the power of the temple again as it will be buried forever. I lost the key to that big rusty door in my office on the way up, so I cannot even save my own wife and child. They were the only ones I wanted to see escape, and the worst thing is that I don't even know where my little Jenny is. I am such a failure as a husband, a father, and a tyrant. I deserve this slow death. Right, I don't know if we are Adam Whittler, we have Amnesia, the Dark Descent, and that is currently why we are here in this game. There's more than Pyramid Head. I, I adore Pyramid Head, he's probably one of my favourite guys in pop culture. My favourite um, bad dude in pop culture. There was a tweet that went out some years ago where somebody asked the preacher designer of Silent Hill 2 what was under Pyramid's Head's pyramid. They locked me in this office, I need to get out somehow. And he just responded with head. That is genius. My favourite horror type is psychological and creatures that make good suspense. If you like a good balance of like obvious in your face horror and psychological horror, uh, Insidious is the perfect balance of the two. It's so meta. Especially once you actually know what the bad guy is. Uh, we're looking for a key in here, aren't we? I also realised that I need to... Probably say all of these notes in one go for the utmost clarity of the lore. So I'm going to start doing that. I'm not going to interrupt myself over again. Although it's really, really tempting to do. Especially since I am streaming. What's that? I saw a hand. No, it's just a chair I threw in here. Can I get back on the bed? Can I just go back to sleep? From then under here? Yep, a little bit of oil and what looks like some gigantic handprints. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind that. I love Insidious so much. Yeah, baby! Bagul for the win! Because it's not mentioned in the movies, right? But once you know what Bagul is, you realise that the whole reason Bagul spreads in the first place is through interpretations of art. So if you view an interpretation of Bagul, Bagul inhabits your body. That is creepy. That is terrifying. Because the movie is an interpretation of Bagul in art. So by watching the film, you're allowing the demon inside of yourself before you realize what you've done. Or Scream, that's it. Yeah, Scream is actually a really good combo, but it's definitely more like a, a whodunit rather than a spooky jump scare kind of, hey, look at all these horror features. It's more like, hey, look at all these tropes and um, all that such. I'm looking for a key, aren't I? Because we're locked in here. 
I don't know where we would find a key. I thought I've looked pretty much everywhere so far. Nothing here, per se. I don't think there's going to be anything under here either. Uh, is it in any of the hands of these fellows here standing around this casting couch? Maybe. Any any key hiding in the dingalings of these... Help? Oh, my reach is so long! <laughs> wow! I got the longest arms in the world. I'm not seeing a key. A cognito hazard? Yes, it's a cognito hazard. It's definitely, uh, is it? <sighs> Sus with K. Sus with K in the SCP universe. Hepler? Hitler? Kasher? Something like that. In the rafters, maybe? In the rafters? Why are they? This is a fire hazard. Who would light candles this close to a ceiling? Uh, I'm not really seeing like a, um, a key per se up here. But this has got to be where one is, right? I imagine this is exactly what the game is trying to get me to do. Let's come up. Yeah, we can't go up there. Keter, that's the one. Yes, Keter. It's a Keter. It's um impossible to contain, so uh, allow it to be trapped in something. That's it. Essentially, the movie itself is a cognito hazard. A very good concept. It is, right? That that is not done very much at all, and it's probably my favourite concept in horror. Um, is there actually a key that I'm supposed to be looking for, or am I just? supposed to lock myself in the closet. I'm quite lost. Okay, let's go into our inventory. We'll take a look at this lamp right here. We're going to have to flash bang ourselves over and over again, which is not amazing, but we don't necessarily have a choice because even the mod maker said, hey, it's going to be really sparing. It's not going to be buried in all this crap, is it? Why would it be? It's just a broken box. Okay. Broken box like menopause. Uh, let's look in all of the kind of nooks and crannies then I suppose let's cheer up on the on the way we'll jump on top of this see if there's anything up here no does not appear to be the case maybe where the mannequins are looking I wish that SCP would show would come out already yeah actually I'm really excited for that I looked into it myself and an SCP TV show I am so excited for that I've spent so long reading the SCP fandom I think they were all just looking at me, right? In the bed? They were all looking right here. And we've already moved the bed, and the only thing we found beneath it was oil. Okay, maybe I just uh, box myself into a corner here. I box myself into a box. That's hilarious. Okay, we'll move that slightly. And we'll push it out of the way, see if there's actually a key under it. Doesn't look to be the case. Wait, they're making an SCP show? Yeah, according to Scott, uh, they somebody is making an SCP show. I hope it's got a really good budget. Okay, I'm struggling a little bit here. Is there like some kind of secret book or what are we doing here? Because this one seems a little bit more fiddly than the rest. Unless, oh I see, we're probably just supposed to bust out the window, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, good thing I made a mess. Uh, that looks almost impossible to jump to. I'll try, of course. Whoa! Oh my days. Okay, uh... It's so close! Okay, I'm gonna have to leapfrog this whole way. Ah, I hate that! I hate this so much! Anything in there? No. Okay. Leapfrog! Leapfrog. Uh, somebody spilled a bunch of, um, brandy here, apparently. Okay, so there's 150 dudes resting in this location. Nothing there. Oil is... Hello? Is somebody there? Would somebody like to, uh... Dance? I, I don't know how to tango, but I know a good waltz. Okay, let's take this chair. In case we need something to hide behind or something to throw at an enemy. OH MY GOD! Yeah! SCP is like, oh, I think it's in the 2000s. It's the gigantic sea serpent um, that's like 30 kilometers in length. That is such a creepy one because you go down and investigate and it just wants you to um, swim into its mouth where you are kept in perpetual stasis for the rest of its existence. 
That is terrifying. That is actually terrifying. That is nightmarish. This guy's got his pizzle out. What were you doing? What's in here? Nothing really. Okay, let's only pull our torch out when it's like completely necessary to do so. In here? Nope. Righty ho! Righty ho! Where the hell would we use this key? Oh, we have to leapfrog all the way back, right? Uh, there's some throbbing meat on the side of this building right here. There's no quick save function, is there? No, there's not. Okay, let's get our lamp out. I think this is a pretty responsible use for a lamp. Oh, no! No! No, no, like this! Oh, for God's sake, no! Oh, no! <laughs> he got stuck on something. He got stuck on geometry! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Not as bad as a gym. It's getting me. It's getting me real. Wait. All of our stuff is here. Really? Oh. Oh, that's a cool mechanic. Okay, so death is an actual mechanic in this. Neat. Can't use it on this. So we got to go over here, right? Whew. I doubt any SCP-1 suggestion would be included. No, definitely not. What killed me? It was the water monster from the base game. It, it's often used as kind of like a, um, a wall. A wall to put in front of people so that they don't uh, survive areas where they're not intentionally supposed to be surviving. Is that screaming? Is that the thing that's creeping me out? Okay, that's fine. Let's go down the dark paths because that's pretty much what I know best. Always stick to the dark paths. Uh, that is blocked up by a bed of some sort. Fortunately, I can probably push this. Oh, I can! Okay. Ah, uh, no, I can't. No, I can't. What if I just, like... I kind of did something. I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to push it. So we can open this door enough for me to just go in, straight in, sequence break. Okay, it's not working. I'm personally more excited for the portal show. That's gonna be confusing. That's gonna be really confusing. I've actually been watching season, uh, no. Yeah, season one of Rings of Power recently. That is a good TV show. Holy hell, and it's actually more in keeping with the faith of Lord of the Rings than, uh, the actual, you know, movie trilogy that Lord of the Rings has now become somewhat famous for. Right, this area looks pretty much effed in the A. So let's come around and we'll do, I think we'll just start strip searching, right? Can we go in here? Yep. Okay, there's a pile of corpses. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. Anything in the bum holes? Well, wow, that is a big hammer. Why am I like this? Why? Why am I like this? What? Why? Why am I like this, guys? Swiggity swooty, I'm hammering that booty. Why am I like this? He's playing for the story? <laughs> what do you mean he's playing for the story? <laughs> what great timing to read that comment. Uh, we got some oil, that's fantastic. It's not as sparing as the... as the developer seems to have suggested in the readme. But I imagine it's because of the difficulty of the puzzles that are probably going to ramp up very, very soon. Oh, that's some uh, laudanum. Really good. We can perpetuate our drug addiction. I thought that was an enemy. It's not. Nothing in there. Very cash money. Okay. We're done in this room. Oh! Wait a minute! We can use this! For, for, the, for the story. For the story. Don't spank the poor corpse. Try and stop me, Scott. Try and stop me. Okay. We need this hammer for, for story purposes. Even though we're moving really, really slow, uh, let's get it uh, with the old, uh, the old puzzle front ways. Just in case somebody attacks us, we can launch it like a javelin. Okay, can't beat that down. It's the story. POV, you are the only one not asleep at the sleepover. <laughs> I love it. I actually love it. Okay. Was that Euclidean? Was I supposed to have done that? Alright, what's in here? 
Ooh, a key! This has paid dividends already! What is this for? Observatory! Okay, what else is in here? Anything? Any goodies? Not really. Not really any goodies. Okay, are we supposed to like fall in here or something? Was that actually a solution? Did I actually just solve a puzzle? Because that was an obscure way of solving anything. Okay, good. Let's check out the second half of this. Uh. Did someone just like pst at me? Uh, we need a weapon. Wonder if a box will do, I suppose. Okay. The, oh no, the door to the observatory just closed on its own! No! What are we going to do? Cheese. Cheese, Grobbit. Cheese. Okay, we're safe now. That one got me for some reason. What, the uh, the door slamming? The rough one, wasn't it? <laughs> There's nothing in these. I actually just like making an absolute mess. I know, I know, I shouldn't be doing- Oh, a note. Here we go. A very old letter from Adam Wiedler, Iceland. Ah, Iceland, 1st of January, 1778. Fortunately, I've got a great Icelandic accident. Uh, accent. Dear Moses Jingle. My friend, we have known each other for a long time now, and this is why I write you this letter. I have discovered an ancient capital with muscle powers. It will provide us with the greatest pearls, Ant-Man. It allows the beholder to fully control thoughts and even transform that with the victim equipment. It is all hard to explain on such a short notice, but do come over for it is soon that we will discuss this whole matter. I will also make you my personal doctor on the project and the story got cut off and hasty handwriting is interrupting. Note to self, I will not send this letter. I always give away far too much information, even though he is my best friend. Okay, good to know. I also read about this Moses in the diary, his best friend. Okay, don't know what kind of exposition that was supposed to give me. Oh, what was it? That was... What is this doing in the corner in the dark? This looks like a place we have to hide in, doesn't it? it looks like something we have to hide. No, no, you were right the first time. <laughs> it's an Icelandic accent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm good at Icelandic accents. I've never heard one before, but I'm, I'm really good at them. I'm really, really good at um, guessing an accent. Oh, why is this barricaded? I don't know. Don't know why that was barricaded. There could have been an enemy in it. Hard to tell. Nothing. Oh, drugs! Drugs! Yeah, give me the drugs! Oh, that's not drugs. That's sanity potion. Yuck. We have never used one of those before, by the way. Get that out of the way. Uh, can we move this painting? Pardon me, Sir uh, Alexander of Brandenburg. Let's just uh, move on then, I suppose. So far, what I understand is a king is being tortured. There's silent experiments going on. The devil is this? No, the pers yeah, that got me. Oh! Uh, we're stuck in here. I'm descending. Oh! It does not budge at all. Oh no. Oh wait, there's a. I picked up a rusty key. Okay, it's not for this. This one's got good skiers, actually. This one's got really, really good skiers. Hello? Yitzin Patrol! Okay, nothing here. Nothing here. Who closed that? Okay, I'm gonna open that and I'm gonna take something to defend myself with. Here we go. A set of drawers. The female breastplate. That is a, a, a long series of interconnected puns, by the way. <laughs> Good luck untangling that one. The next 30, 30 seconds, hello? I've got a breastplate. Okay, can't go down there. Wow, that was a conveniently placed cave-in. Thank God this uh, really, really long hallway is not... Something is wrong. Wait, where are the mannequins? Oh, so wrong. I'll say. The level design in this one is just fun. It is really fun, actually. This one's really, really good. I prefer this horror over modern jump scares. It's a little as it is. It's got some jump scares. It's got a, it's got some jump scares. 
Ah, piss. We can't go in there. Can we? Can we go in here? Was the diary telling me about this door? I know. We're about to find out. Good thing I got the high quality version, huh? Imagine watching this in 144p. Yuck. It's, mu it's music rotting water in here. Kiki. Okay, nothing back there. I'm still doing torch flicks. Oh, okay. No! No! Oh, there's meat over there. Okay, that guarantees something to stand on. Let's go. Let's go! Oh, Tinderbox. Yes, please. I picked that up while it was bouncing in mid-air. Nice. Why do I feel like mannequins are going to try to be like the SCP-173 in movement-wise? They might be. No, I had security breach. I love it, but I also <laughs> it ain't scary at all. It's got its moments when you first play it, I feel. I feel like it's got its moments. Give me a help wanted over this any day, but give me a yeah, oh, help wanted. I'm excited to play that. Um, I finally got it set up. But I actually, I need my lady to come and help me do it because I need her to read chat while I uh, while I do it in VR. That's going to be the plan, basically. I'm going for like a GT Live kind of deal. Okay, I think we're supposed to stack boxes over there and jump it, right? I think so. There's not really a lot in here. Oh, piss! I hear the water monster. Oh no, it's on its corner. Okay, good. All right, let's uh, crouch. We'll get that one right there. Should be good enough to go around now. Oh, hey, there's a ladder right here. That would have been uh, helpful information before. What is this? A needle. Okay, sure, thanks. Do I need it? Okay, let's scour for goodies before we uh, give up on this place fully. I don't really see any from up top, but you know, you never really know, do you? Ruin was scary. I found Ruin scary. I haven't played it. I watched someone else play it. Very scary. Isn't something possible referencing this water creature in Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion? That's another one that's on my private list of games to play. I cannot wait to play it as well. It looks so goddamn good. We've just harmed our ankle. Hopefully not the best thing in the world. Is, th is there actually a water monster here? Yes! Yes, there is! No! Okay, we got drugs actually. Damn, that thing almost one hit us. Let's take some drugs. Yummy, yummy. A wound is bleeding quite badly. You know what fixes bleeding wounds? What staunches that? Cocaine and morphine in a bottle. That's what fixes that. Okay, let's take this, uh... Let's take this breast and we'll throw it that way. Bye-bye! What an idiot. And now we... Oh, no! Must have done. Run! Oh, 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 oh. Where is it? It's probably pretty far away, actually. Probably just leapfrog over to this one here. Nice. <laughs> Great. Okay. We are now at a bookshelf. Mm, that's not very good, actually. Can we get up here? Probably not, honestly. Can we crash jump? No, we can't. <sighs> what does the creature even look like? It doesn't. It doesn't look. If you get close enough to look, it's already too late. Uh, I don't see anything over here that we can necessarily run... Who? But I think we'll hurt our ankles if we uh, if we try it. Let's try and pick one of these bad boys up, and we'll throw it over there, just in case we need something to jump to. Okay, I don't see it. I'm going. Oh, Pat is right in front of us. Oh, it was right in front of us. Dang, I was hoping to see a cool design, but HP Lovecraft style works too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um. It's just, it's not really supposed to be like a monster monster. It's supposed to be kind of like a, a, a creepy device to scare you into not going into the water. Okay, need to wait for it to go that way so that we can just basically gap it past. Okay, I'm leapfrogging. I'm leapfrogging all the way around. I did it. Ah, uh, we can't open that. We'll probably need to use a needle on this side of the gate, right? Oh, that actually worked. That's so silly. Oh, are you serious? It's right there. And there's nowhere to jump to. Oh, who's? That's okay. We'll go sideways. Then we'll jump up on these. And here, from here, we can throw this one over there. He will go investigate. Oh, he just closed the door, though. Ah! 
That's okay. We're pretty quick. We can probably just run through, right? We're quick enough. We're quick enough. We're quick enough. No, no closer, you idiot! Okay, good. Woo! I need something to open this gate quick. Already solved it, buddy, old pal. All right, what's through here? No! What the hell? No! I just got thrown off of the box! No! Run! Run, Daniel! Run as fast as your scrawny little legs will- Oh, no! Not like this, not like this, not like this, not like this. Not like this. Okay, I'm trying to throw it off by repeatedly jumping. Hopefully this will save us at least a little bit. Oh! 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 You spot! You spot! You spot! You spot! Oh! Oh! Oh, hoping there was a lore connection. I don't... I don't think the base game has a lore connection to the water monster. The number of story was way better than the Dark Descent, sadly. Yes! But... Dark Descent gives you more to do, I think. Uh, we... Uh, we can't actually heal, which is not good. And we're almost out of oil, which... Oh, no, we're not. There we go. Topped up. So, where are we going from here? Is that a staircase? Right there? Where is it? Where is the water monster? We need to kind of duck around it, don't we? I hear something squeaking. I hear something squeaking. Okay, I'm just gonna gap it through. Here comes the water monster. Okay, we made it. Woo. Probably a little bit too hectic, honestly. Wait, oh. what? No! What? Whoa, okay! Donkey Kong it is! Oh, okay! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No! Not like us! <sighs> this one has no chill! This game has zero chill! I'm gonna assume the water creature looks like a rat. I think it looks kind of like, um... It probably looks like a face hugger. And no game's ever gonna live up to the hype of the sequels. Yeah. Please I mean... Help you. I know you can. Help who? What is this? Lord, this is not good for you, my dude. Diary of Moses Yingle, 17th of June, 1840. Does... Lab assistants, Jason and Martin, were getting me some acid with this little jar I gave them. It is a small jar, I knew, so maybe they had to go a couple of times, but why are they taking so long? The most unfortunate thing is that they carried my early acid resistant jar. I hope that if somebody faces these idiots or my precious jar, it will be straight away. This jar is essential to our project and by genius plan to execute the resistant one. It is only acid resistant one around here and they are hard to get. The vote became an extremely dangerous working area ever since the regulator has started to truly malfunction as opposed to falsely malfunction. Your parts are either working or they're not. Come on. Okay. Oh, what nightmare fuel is going to be down here? Can we sequence break our way through? Let's see. See if we can't bust our way through. This padlock is in excellent condition. I need to use a key. I'll be the judge of that. No, it's definitely excellent condition, gotta be said. Uh, we'll take this rock with us. I feel a little bit safer with a rock in my hand. 1814, this makes me curious where the story takes place. Uh, probably going to be Iceland if I had to elucidate a guess from context. The number of Black Plague and Amnesia Machine for Pigs, both peak games make the dogs look like dumpster fires in comparison, and no further games will ever be as good. I still haven't played uh, Machine for Pigs yet. I'm gonna be doing that one, I don't know if I'm gonna do that one soon. But I probably should, right? I probably should be doing that one soon. Because otherwise I'll never get to Amnesia uh, Rebirth. Which no one finished. I don't know a single big YouTuber that actually finished it. I know Markiplier gave up halfway through. And I think PewDiePie had a crack at it in his private time but couldn't finish it. Maybe it's just bad. I don't know. I haven't played it yet. I suppose we'll find out. But I am really excited for the bunker. Amnesia the bunker. That one looks awesome. It kind of, it, it looks like Amnesia the Dark Descent, but it also gives you weapons, which may give us a false sense of security, I feel. While also alerting everyone to our position. It's also got custom uh, story support. Place gives me an extraordinary feeling in a bad way. Ah. Around, yes. Mm-hmm, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. ah, uh -huh. ah, uh, good. This, this clips, we can go, ah, piss! 
<laughs> so close. <laughs> oh, actually, if there's like an item down here, I'll be able to sequence break my way up there. I just need one single item to pick up. That's it. Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. Oh, this will be perfect. Ah, oh, I can't pick them up. Okay. What is this way? That's way too big. It's light enough, actually. We can use this. We can use this. All right, let's 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 go try the other route. It's the worst in the series, but I wouldn't call it bad. Uh, the bunker or rebirth? Probably rebirth, right? Probably why no one finished it. All right, uh, jump, 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 jump! Jump! I think I've... Okay, so here's the plan, right? I need to use this cog to kind of like shift the lamp sideways. Well, maybe it's, maybe I can't actually get my uh, my foot back up. Oh, here we go, got it. Okay, good, and we'll orient this sideways. Behind there, and now we crouch, and we move past, we move past, we move past, we move past. Yes, it works, it actually works! Uh, that was close. All right, one there, and here we go. I will do exactly the same thing as I just did before. Don't stop me, no! Okay, let's play the game. I feel like playing the game is probably going to be the, the best way of playing the game, right? Actually, this game's lore is so vast, you can connect it to probably Dead Space and more with these. Yeah, well, the original game is, it's a, um, it's got portal in it. Okay, that's a chest. Oh, we've got books here. We can find a book, we could probably uh, shimmy our way through those lamps. Ah, uh, let's just not do that. Okay, anything under here? No. I'm really struggling to... Why are these so heavy? Weird. Okay, let's use our lamp more sparingly, I think. We're probably wasting a lot of oil. Yeah, we are wasting a lot of oil. Hello? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Whoa! Okay. Sweet mother of God, they don't actually expect us to go down there, do they? This looks like a nightmare! Whew. Like Apparatus of Science is just casually name dropped mid DLC. It was an ad! Justin was literally an ad for the um for the game. Portal 2. Okay, I need a um a cold chisel and a hammer. Don't know why people keep calling it a chipper. It's not a chipper, it's a cold chisel. Okay, another staircase going down into the bowels of whatever the hell this place. Amnesia, the dark bowels, more like. Still not seeing a hell of a lot. It seems like there's something we need to follow down here. But I think once we go down here, there's no turning back, right? Ah, it's pretty well illuminated. Why do we take damage? Oh, it's actually pretty high. Okay. Oil! Nice. But now we're stuck down here. Not good. With rocks. And, uh... No clue as to what to do. Do we go up this beam, maybe? I think maybe we're supposed to go up this beam. Okay, let's jump this. Whee! Made it. And we'll jump this. Whee! Made it. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to make it, because we have to jump back up these stairs. That's funny. You can connect it to FNAF. I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't connect this to FNAF. Okay, I've been in that area. I got everything that there is to get out of that. Uh, where else are we supposed to be going? I'm going there. That's where we need the cold chisel. And in here was not helpful either. Which way do we go? Flipping texture! Nice. That's when two uh, images occupy the same plane of existence. All right, I'm gonna go and look further back beneath the staircase that we came down, see if there's any goodies there, and then we'll go down there and we'll have a, a big thorough look, I think. Is it possible to connect it to games like Undertale? I can almost guarantee there's gotta be like a couple of... Creepy! A couple of Undertale fan games, right? Made on the Amnesia Engine. Uh, we've got this hairy statue right here. Oh, I just heard a dog with it. Okay. Wait, if that's oil, then there's got to be another oil around here, right? No? Ah, oh, maybe not. Maybe that's not the case at all. Okay. That's locked. Right. 
And we can't just glitch our way past all those lamps. Like, we could, if we tried it long enough, but I think it might just be worth our time to actually play the game. It's... Oh, wow. That's impressive. In fact, you know what? With this, we could probably actually... Oh, no, we can't jump very far. I was thinking maybe we could... Nice. Knock the, uh, what's my doodle out of the way with that, but it doesn't seem like that's useful whatsoever. Locked. Okay, let's go down into the bowels and we'll see what we can't find. It sounds like nightmares down here, doesn't it? I've managed to connect it to scooby Doo, so you never know. scooby Dome. scooby Dome. <laughs> okay. Wait. Is it because marijuana exists in this universe and Shaggy quite likes his, his Mary Jane, so that's the connection? Wait. I'll go this way. There's got to be like a mod that increases the amount of time it takes, uh, decreases the amount of time it takes for the ice to adjust to the darkness, right? Probably makes the most sense. Uh, let's try jumping down like we just did before. It seemed to actually work a charm. Because we didn't take damage here. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, can we pick this up? No. Right. So the lamp is literally our only source of light. So what are we doing down here if not looking for just like a door? Okay, is this what we're looking for? No. No, that was a jump scare. Thank you, game, I suppose. Thank you very much. Thank you for the jump scare. Everybody say thank you to the nice game for the nice jump scare moment. Oh, looks really weird there. Ooh, this is 2012 FNAF. Okay, you got me there. 2012 FNAF had literally no kind of like record about it, right? Okay, coming around, coming around. Oh! No! No! I'm running! I'm running away! That thing can one hit us! Screw him! I'm gonna keep on looking for a different door, I think. Alright, let's keep on looking for a different door around here. I'm not really seeing anything though, are we? Oh! There's some oil stains right here. What's in here? Oh, this was where he came from, wasn't it? Ah, oh, we just ran out of oil. That sucks. No, we didn't. Great. Considering it's the 1800s, but they could have been. <laughs> Okay, then. All right, what is this? What is this? Ah, tinderbox, great. Can't wait to not use that. So we're stuck down here with a bit of a monster. We should probably be quite quiet, I think. I don't trust this pot at all. Good thing that wasn't noisy. What's in here? Some bones, that's weird. Also a little bit creepy. There's also uh, Primordial, which I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to get the glass jar out for, right? Is this broken? I feel like this is a little bit broken. I don't think this door is supposed to be at this angle. It's not going to stop me from trying to open it. Uh, can't pick up that rock. Can I pick up this rock? No. Can I pick up that rock? No. Okay, so I can't pick up any of these rocks, but I did see something we could lift in here. Whoops, someone's unhappy that we're here. All right, let's try this. Is this fixing it or is it making it worse? Okay, we just have to unwedge this corner, right? Oh my god, it's actually working. No! Piss. Where'd my draw go? Oh, actually on the other side. So, as long as that doesn't reset, if we find another object, we can actually probably just pry it off of its hinges. Okay, we just need one more item. One more stray lonely item that we can hoist up. Oh, perfect! This has leverage. This has leverage written all over it. Nice. Oh, excellent, I found Law Room. Diary of James Priest, 16th of December, 1839. The workers proved to do their job efficiently when the project started, but for some reason, pretty much all of them are getting nightmares about this vault we are working in. It's a truly curious way of the have all seen to dream and so to almost exact the same bizarre things. It is not helping the labor mentality at all. They seem very distracted by this phenomenon. I know I kind of went into French territory there for a second, but uh, just bear with me. It'll get more Icelandic as it goes on. This is... Oh, my God, it's upside down. That actually spooked me. Anything in it? No, okay. Gotcha. There is a poo bucket here and a sack of potatoes and also a chair. I think that's all anybody really needs in life, right? All right, let's take this leverage stick. We'll go back to that door. Whew, my new head cannon is the mystery gang explored the manor and found a creature. <laughs> what in FNAF? 
It's gotta be FNAF, right? It's a FNAF thing. Sounds like a FNAF thing. All right, let's put this in here. And now we leverage. Come on. No! What we did was broke it more. Okay. Now let's let it cook. Let it cook. Let's let it do its thing. And we lost the broom. <laughs> we almost had it open too. Okay, we're gonna have to find some kind of key, aren't we? Or a bigger item. Maybe that chair. Actually, maybe the chair would get us through there. Let's try that. Let's try Let's try the chair. The skier chair. All right. There it is. This is sturdy enough, I think. So, it's got kind of like a round on the head right here. So, I think if we just like kind of force this into the, the door hinges, we could probably pry the door open enough for us to just enter if it's like real close to us like this. Yes? It's doing something. Yes? Please? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, what if we grind it up and down? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. How about like this? Is this... Is this... Is, oh! Actually, it, it, it did exactly what we were hoping. Okay, what's going on here? What if we... Oh, yeah, actually, this is a good shout. Let's angle it upside down perfectly. And then like this. And then we'll put it over the door here. And then we'll try and wedge outwards. So close. Like this, maybe. Okay, couldn't see for a sec. There we go. Come on. Come on, physics engine. Ooh. Kind of doing it. Kind of, kind of going. Oh, I threw the chair. Whoops. That's fine. Hey, hey. Hey, Scott, how we doing? <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just uh, trying to avoid a tussle with that monster that one hits us every single time. I can do this. I'm, I'm sure I can do this. Maybe like this, and then we pop it down, we'll pull it in close, and then we swipe it sideways, switching, 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 we're one with the chair, one with the chair, we're one with the chair, 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 we're one with the chair, we're one with the chair, one with the chair, one with the chair, one with the chair, just let it do its thing, just let it do its thing, I can already tell it's off its hinges now. One with the chair, one with the chair, one with the chair, one with the chair, but one with the chair, one with the chair, one with the chair, but one with the chair. One with the chair. I think we've lost our chair. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yes! 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 <laughs> you have to play the rest of the game so you don't get spoilers. Ah, oh, but I'm so close to getting in this whatever this room is! <sighs> Ah, okay, okay, fine, we're gonna go around. All right, let's actually play the game as intended then, I suppose. Because we lost our broom, and I think that was our best chance of getting through. Unless we find, like, a hammer. Then we'd be in a really, really good spot to open it. And I don't remember there being a hammer down here. I remember there's oil, of course. I remember there's oil all over the place. Maybe we've already picked it up. Hard to tell sometimes. Okay, let's go into that room that that monster just kind of jumped out of, right? And we'll also check... Oh, yes, this might do it. Oh, that's way too big. Though we are moving pretty quickly with it. We could probably just use this, right? All right, let's try this. Let's try this. Let him cook. <laughs> YouTube's ignoring some of my chat. I don't think it's YouTube doing that. I, I think it might be uh, someone else. Or is it just like not popping up at the top there? Okay. This rock is going to be my last attempt to cheese through this, this area. Although, if we didn't cheese it, we would probably have it open by now. I think that maybe this boulder is going to be the way. Let's try sprint with it. Oh, yes. And there's that chair, so we know we're right next to the door. Excuse me, obstacles. Just need to get through here real quick. All right, let's ram it. Let's go. Uh. Ish. It's doing nothing. 
I'm trying to like, oh, that is such a big gap. Okay. Maybe if we wedge that there and then we use the chair on that side. Like, uh, like so. So we need a, a big bit of leverage to get through here, don't we? And this is a physics game, technically. I think I've actually just like closed the gap a little bit too much. Okay, it's not, it's not wedging. What if we just like bash it down with this rock then? What if we slip it sideways with the rock? Ooh, that's actually going. Okay, let's do that one more time. No, the door is literally fighting back. Ah, just can't reach that drawer on the other side. I don't even know if there's anything in there worth getting. Okay. I'm gonna go into that monster's home. I know it's a bad idea, but we don't really have a choice at this point. We tried to cheese through the door, but the physics are just a little bit too, too fiddly to get through. Okay, I'm taking the same path around. I don't know if he's going to be patrolling that area. The readme did say that there would be patrols. I'm getting heartbeat, so I imagine that we're actually pretty close to some kind of monster or entity. Right, I see lights. Not huge lights, but I see them. No hinges. Oh, this is where he busts. Wait, are you taking the piss? Ah! That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's been all this time. It's been all this time trying to get into this room and it was just open. Okay, we got a hammer. I think we need a chisel now. That was the other thing we needed, right? Oh, there's a grave here. That's creepy. And I don't think there's anything else here for us. No, definitely not. Okay, so we've seen quite a bit in that area. Probably too much of that area. Because now we know exactly how the doors function in reality. In that specific zone. Trying to speak without being deleted for mystery reasons. Are there cusses in it? Because I do have, um... I've, I've got chat uh, with a, an auto-moderation setting. We'll have a breakdown of Anesia's story soon enough. Check it for, like, racial slurs. Because if there are racial slurs, or even just, like, any kind of derogatory or defamatory speech in there. Oh, I can break this with just a hammer. Uh, you might find it gets blocked. Is there a monster on the other side of here? I'm about to find out. No. Okay, I'm gonna go down this crawl space. The hell? Why was that blocked? There's not a monster in here, is there? Okay, we've got to be really, really quick on our feet, I suppose. That's a staircase, good to know. Don't know what the hell that is. This is that staircase. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down into a dark descent. Nothing down there, good to know. That's not a step. What the hell? Am I supposed to be down here? Okay. Nothing in that closet, unfortunately. Is there anything down here? There's nothing down here. Ah, this must be that mine that everybody was talking about, right? The... The mine? The mine shaft? Oh, this is different. Ah. Huh. Strange. Okay. Okay. We're speed looting. Uh, let's go down here and we found the cold chisel finally. And that's it. We're off. Whoop. Go down. I'm hoping we're not going to be attacked. I wouldn't be surprised if we get attacked. Do we have to combine them? Yes. Good. Good to know. 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 See, it doesn't delete cusses. See, because cuss get it showed up. Uh, not on my end, it didn't. <laughs> Whoops. Russ, it doesn't show you cursing. Yeah, definitely. But typing my alt's username isn't allowed for some reason. Maybe your alt is a racial slur. Had you considered that? Or maybe some kind of defamatory slur? This is a huge room for one naked man to be sitting on a chair at the end here. Uh, the naked man just left, I think. I think he gave up. Maybe he just, maybe he just watched me go around that 
that door that he was trying to exploit for that long. That's why it was broken. Uh, I'm taking your chair, buddy. Taking your chair. Anything behind here? Nope. Okay. All right, I looked. Nothing. That's just a locker. Great. Okie dokie. So, there's nothing else up here, I don't think. Now that we've got the cold chisel and the hammer, we can go and bust down another door, I think. But we have to kind of like go up here first, don't we? So we can get on the staircase. Is this the one? I think this might be the one. Whee! No, I think we need to put something up on here. Oh, there's boxes everywhere for this exact reason, I think. Uh, one goes here, good. One goes here, good. That one's flat, so let's put this one on top of it. Well, it's flat enough, it's flat enough. Whew. The naked man left. The OV, me when I'm sleep deprived and I blink at midnight. Oh, I have that so much as well. Okay, good. Yes! Okay. Whoa! I almost just jumped off the edge there. That was clumsy of me. But it's fine. Okay, where are we? Uh, we are still going up these enormous steps. Good grief, are they made for Andre the Giant or something? Is that the lore of this game? Andre the Giant lives here and everybody else just like tripped over his steps and died of a neck break or something like that? That's why that guy was so banged up. Okay, let's try the cold chisel here. Boop. Did it break? No, we still have it, excellent. We have a weapon of defense now in case we get attacked again. Excellent, yes, 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 yes. Barrels, we'll see if there's anything behind here. Oh, nice. I love looting. I love looting and then being rewarded for it. Ransacking is probably one of my favorite hobbies. There's a couple of screams going on in here. Uh, sucks to be whoever that is, quite frankly. And it just ended abruptly. Oh, would you look at that? Thick thighs, Theo's thighs. Nice. That's bougie. I like that. Uh, anything on the other side of these? No. Probably shouldn't be using our lamp so much, should we? Oh, we've got three buckets of oil. We probably could actually use our lamp. With the speed at which we're solving these puzzles, uh, but also at the same time, the speed at which we're finding the exploits that we could use to solve puzzles that we don't want to go into the darkness for. Anything around here? No, good. Somehow the story went from trying to figure out where this fella was to I sure am exploring this basement. SB096 scream. Oh, I actually played an SCP game. Um, I think it's called Secret Files. It's on the channel. It's really good as well. It's definitely, oh, that's gonna break. It's definitely one of those games that goes massively underlooked. Despite the fact that, you know, someone put a lot of effort into it. It's such a good game. If you ever get a chance to play it, I would highly recommend it. Ooh, lore. Oh, the words. Okay, it's only two pages. Diary of Clyde Randall, 29th of January, 1840. That's James. He was nice, funny, and even a good leader. Although he took a lot of days off and drank way too much to even look you straight in the eye when sober. How could he look you in the eye sober if he drank what? Okay. But it was where well good times and he took time to joke around now and then. He was under a lot of pressure with everyone going slightly mad. Oh! But then he started to behave as strange as the rest of the workers did. I think it has been like three months since they all seemed to suffer from nightmares and hallucinations. But the last two weeks, some even died in their sleep. What the hell does that mean? How could? Till now I am the only one that has been spared by this terrible fate. No nightmares or hallucinations for me? Well, yet. That is at least. Uh, well, yes, that is at least. It is like waiting for a time bomb to instantly... Into a time bomb of insanity to explode being in this hellhole. I would tell my boss James and talk about the fact I did not suffer any of these weird things if he did not start behaving like a crazy man like the rest. Maybe he just went insane because of all the booze. I do not know anymore. I mean, he was always the strongest of us all. <laughs> I am really thinking about leaving the place before it all happens to me too, but I am afraid I will lose the top. Okay, Clyde Randall. Clyde Randall is simping for a paycheck. What a simp. What a paycheck simp. Uh, this was the only way we could go, right? You're gonna love the challenge I have for you next. It'll be a good ad adaptation into a one and done spooker. This is being done into a one and done spooker. Oh, well, stick it on the game requests. Is that a huge bucket of oil? Oh, piss on my nuts, that is. Oh, that was terribly crass. I'm very sorry. Um, That was actually just the, the phrasing that went through my head as soon as I saw that giant bucket of oil. We need a broom of some sort, right? 
Pas de mail Attendez moi Money is money <laughs> We've already been chased by a nightmarish monstrosity and we've found several corpses down here already, right? And yet still he chooses to keep this job. Am I doing something wrong? Oh, I guess he just wants to stay a door. You know, a door isn't a door when it's a jar. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, maybe if we just like throw it open really quickly and then run in behind it. I got it. I got it. Okay, good. Try running in, but yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, fuck, we're gone. Okay. Uh, I need a hide quick. Uh, we're one with this thing. We're one with this thing. We're one with this thing. It's a crate. It's a crate. We're one with this thing. We're one with the crate. 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 One with the crate. One with the crate. One with the crate. We're one with the crate. One with the crate. We're one with the crate. One with the crate. One with the crate. One with the crate. Oh, we should have hidden it. Witching in the corner! Blair Witching in the corner! Please leave! Thick thighs, Theo! <laughs> Actually, scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I know we were supposed to hide in that closet! It's obvious once you're here, looking around the room. Oh no, he's still here. 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 Will he leave? 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 He left! What an oaf! What an oafish idiot! What a stupid dunce! That guy's Theo, you've done it again! Okay, we're gonna have to be quiet while we loot though. He, yes. Oh, human skull. Put that there to confuse the guys, Theo. More! Doesn't looking at him matter? Yes! Looking at him does matter, but you've get you've got like a couple of seconds before he actually starts aggroing on you if you just stare at him. So you can use that to kind of like peek around and stuff like that. Whew. Oh, that almost gave me a heart attack. Diary of James Priest, 3rd of February, 1840. As boss of the Eastern Basement, I am still very worried about my employees. It has been about three months now with these sick nightmares. They are all getting used to it, as if the horrid things they are dreaming become normal. But still the biggest question remains... Hey! The big problem now is that since a week or two, the seventy workers are dying in their sleep from a heart attack or to stop breeding. As if the devil sits on their chest at night. Ha 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 ha! I heard some of them talk in their sleep about turning into stone. If they do not obey, whatever the hell that means. To be honest, even I am feeling strange as well lately, but having weird dreams or even dream at all is not like me. That is what alcohol eventually does with a man his brain, I think. I wish I could afford it to let all of them just leave, but financially it is out of the question. That is why I lock the gate upstairs. I do not want them to run away out of fear towards the prisons. That place is only accessible in case of real emergency. Okay, so we are still being harassed. He still exists. He still exists. What was in here? Nothing. No reward for coming. Ah, oh, tinderbox. Nice. Is he coming back? Oh, tinderbox. Nice. Perfect. Okay, we're one with the barrel. We're one with the barrel. We're one with the barrel. 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 We're one with the barrel. Oh, 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 oh. We're one with the barrel. Oh! Imagine still dreaming. Can't be me. I am a very vivid dreamer. I have had dreams where I have dreamed a person, fallen in love with them, had children, uh, they died before me of old age, then I died after them, and then I woke up next to my IRL girlfriend, which was the only time I've ever regretted doing that. Oh, that was tragic. A vivid dreaming is not all it's cracked up to be. I've also crashed many planes. I've also crashed many planes, uh, because I was driving them, and, uh, the engines failed. I'm big on dream theory, though, because I can dream. Ever had an Inception dream? No. I've never had an Inception dream per se, which is actually quite lucky, because uh, I don't really understand how spinning tops work. Okay. So there were no- ah! uh, nah, 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 nah. I just realized we've still got this hammer and chip it. Oh. Is this what this is for? Is this what the key is for? No. 
What? How the hell do we, do we get in here then? Are we supposed to just telekinetically move that over? Maybe there's a broom in here. Maybe there is actually a broom in here. I'm going to go look. I'm going to go look for a broom, I think. Not to be confused with the popular city in Northern Cyrodiil, uh, Bruma. You know, home of um, Bretons and Cyrodiil, of course. No, we are not We are not going through that route. We are instead going through a, a broom route. Broom is probably actually the best utility in this game. Gotta be said. Gotta be said. Uh, that's a bowl. Don't want a bowl just yet. Oh, what's up here? Why is light cast here? Oh, it's just a gap in the ceiling. Okay. I wish I could have a dream where I can control what happens. Hard to do. Really hard to do. I've been able to do it like a couple of times in my life, but ultimately... Um, I just kind of, I find the best way of controlling your dreams is to shape your brain into a mindset while you're trying to go to sleep. Like, if you're trying to go to sleep and across the day you've just been really depressed, you're probably going to have a nightmare. Or if you've just had lots of protein, probably going to have a nightmare. That's just a chemical reaction. But, if you kind of like do something you really like doing just for a few minutes right before you go to uh, sleep, you'll end up having good dreams. Most of the time. Most of the time. There are obviously exceptions to this, but uh, like nine times out of ten, that's what works for me. I once woke up 12 times in one night without... Oh, oh. What the hell was that? Yeah, it's pretty crazy how, how dreams work, right? I figured them out. I know exactly what dreams are. They are basically like a YouTube video in the resolution of 144p to kind of distract your brain from the fact that your brain thinks your body is dying. I would probably be a menace in my dreams if I could control what happens. Yeah, but you'd only be a menace in your dreams. This guy's fabulous. Look at how he died. Yes, Queen! What an icon. Absolutely iconic. Did he drop any goodies, like oil or any goodies down here, maybe? Was it just body parts? May have just been body parts. I don't actually see anything other than that corpse. Okay. What do know? All right, let's come around. And if we can find a broom of some sort, we'll go back into that area that we came from. I think we're back. I think we're backtracking. Oh, meat! Meaty, nice. I do like a bit of meat. Uh, let's jump over here. We'll take a bit of damage, I think. But we don't have a choice. Jump on this barrel, and we'll run over it like a clown. Okay, what else is there? There's a meat pustule. Uh, we should take a mental note of that. We could have that for dinner later if we don't find any, like, uh, dead rats, or maybe even a, a dead enemy of some sort. Oh, we've also got that guy's corpse in the, um... Oh, that clipping texture actually just scared me. Right back, gonna go do an Undertale yellow. Have fun. You have a bunch of fun. I can guarantee you'll have a bunch of fun. People keep telling me it's really, really fun. I can't watch play it for myself. Uh, right, so what have we ended up with? We've got a padlock here, right? Label reads prison gate padlock. I think this is for the padlock entirely upstairs. How upstairs though? Because we came from this area here, I think. Actually, since it's kind of like triggering a bunch of things on the way back. Maybe the objective is actually down here. Up here. Sorry. I once had a nightmare where a black and white Mickey Mouse was fighting me in a burning house. Oh my days! The dream theory. What could that possibly mean? <laughs> like really, what could that possibly mean? Burning house usually indicates that an area you would consider to be a safe place or a person you would consider to be a, a safe confidant is suddenly not so safe anymore. And I'm, I have no idea about Mickey Mouse. Maybe you're just really, really afraid of copyright infringement. Because I know Disney is uh, real nasty on their Mickey Mouse. Not gonna lie. I am absolutely adoring the level design of this level here. Oh, this is actually an area we can go in. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. I usually dream nightmare terrors. Uh, I've got one recurring nightmare terror called the Skitter Beast. Which is a pretty nasty one. It's kind of like this big eight foot toy. It kind of looks like the Wraith, but it's got long uh, black hair as well. Uh, it crawls on the ceiling, and you can only tell that it's above you because you can clear. You can hear its fingernails clicking on the um, on the ceiling of your of your bedroom, and it sits above you. And if you open your eyes, it will uh, eat you. That's essentially how it works. Back. Damn, that was fast. <laughs> All oh, right, Undertale, yeah, I get it, I get it. You, okay, okay, okay. Code, code number one, right? I also recently had a dream where I was a shark and I was mutating and killing fish. 
No idea. No idea what that could mean. Hey, give me a few minutes. I'll sit on it. Working... No, sorry. Working report, 15th of June, 1840, by Peter Grant. I'd requested all employees to help me fix the ceiling fundament of the basement, but none of them wanted to listen, like I was talking in Chinese. They just looked at me with this endless gaze, and all of them had the same freaky look. This whole project is going to fail because for the last six months, nobody seems to know what they're doing. I think the darkness and all those weird nightmares are slowly making them insane. The whole place is starting to collapse, so we have to retreat to the prison house pretty soon. Our boss James said that if we ever want to fix this, we have to repair the damage from the inside out. I do not think going back to earlier stages of the vault is an option now. Even if we do that, we can never go back to repair everything. Although if I find this idea of being locked out intimidating, we must do this to save safe our project. Okay, thanks for the tidbit of information. Looks like a someone who's trapped in here, right? I'm gonna take one of these uh, little pills right here, a little papaya pill. And what they do is they cure dry mouth. Also, anyone watching this, if you get dry mouth, because I'm on your medication, I'm now getting dry mouth, get papaya pill. They stimulate saliva production and they slap. They're really, really good for it. I spent years looking for like some kind of gel that would counter it and I never found one. This is the best thing I found. Papaya pills. It's called Hungry Shark Evolution. I also once had a dream where I had Spider-Man powers and I was at my old elementary school and there was no power. And I was crawling on the ceiling. It was more like that pistol shotgun. Um. Usually when you have powers, that insinuates that you have gained some kind of, uh, how would you say, advantage in your life. And for... Somewhere you used to be to not have power, it would suggest to me that you had taken that power potentially to convert it into your own power. So maybe you were just dreaming of the fact that you had an education. Pretty good. Education's power. Information's power. Announcement to all workers, 14th of June, 1840. The unconfirmed report of a secret escape route or hole somewhere in the what the prison cells are nonsense. If employees need to evacuate because of an emergency, they will report in the south and the west hallways in prison. Once the boy is gathered in two groups, an emergency exit will be revealed. It is kept secret because of the possible misuse. Message provided by James Priest and company. Another one was me in a zombie apocalypse. Uh, male fantasy, possibly. Zombies are really, really good to take your anger out on. So you're probably just uh, you're dreaming that, again, you gained an advantage in your life and uh, your subconscious was just trying to tell you, hey, you're a little bit more powerful now than you were. Enjoy using it against these zombies in a metaphor or an allegory. Working report, 18th of August, 1840, by Peter Grant. These dark and humid prison cells are not helping the working spirit, but it is better than working in the basement at this point. We need to be here for our own safety and to keep what is left of the project running, but people are going mad. They told me Jeffrey was going insane and started bashing into a co-worker with a hammer. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer was screaming that he saw the devil and started bashing on the head of Robert. I have not seen it happen, but if this is true, it is better that this idiot is locked up. I heard they call him, they locked him up in the cell North Room 5. The weird categorization for a cell. All of this has nothing to do with the working report, but what else can I write down? I don't know why this is all happening, but working in these conditions is nearly impossible. Like, what does it all mean? Individually, a, 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 a psychologist, biggest detractor of Freud, uh, Carl Jung has this theory that, what is it? That dreams are basically the subconscious's way of dealing with trauma across a very, very short time period. And to an extent, I would probably agree with that as well. Because they do seem to be based on the condition of your head as you go to sleep. That's why I say just do something you like before you go to bed and you'll have better dreams. Hello? I'm coming in. I'm not coming in. Okay, I tried. We could probably just like uh, take this vase, right? Try and bust it open. Hello? I'm gonna send you something in there. There should be some broken pieces. Use them as a weapon of some sort. I think I had a dream once when I died. Uh, classic lack of control. Oh, piss! Yeah, 
lack of control is a really, really popular one in dreams. Um, when I crash an aeroplane, that is definitely what I'm feeling. A lack of control of some element in my life. Whether it be like my love life or family or professionally, something like that. An element of control definitely shows in your brain when you dream. Oh, there's a bone here. That's a really big bone, actually. We could probably use this to jack open a door of some sort. Are these lab assistants Dr. Jingle was talking about it in his diary? That hideous creature must have slaughtered them. There's only two of them. Glass jar and a tinderbox. Great. I think there's actually an enemy around here, too. Ah, oh, no. I think he just left, actually. I think he's gone. We've got so many materials. Why did the read me say be sparing with the oil? We still have a full lantern full of oil right here. I'm going to take this bone as well in case we need leverage. Why is it bl- uh. The meat is throbbing. That's great. And also dripping its, its wet juices onto my face. Gross. Okay. I've got a bone. Not afraid to use it. What's up here? Is this how we got here? I don't think so. I don't remember a staircase of any sort. Well, that's sus. I'm not going that way, obviously. Uh, always take the dark path, I think. Always take the dark path. Oh, not so dark anymore. Okay, nothing down there. What does that say? Dungeon cells. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Tinderboxes. Wow, we are really, really wealthy for tinderboxes. Are we supposed to have run out of all of our oil by now? Because we haven't. We haven't even come close. Okay, nothing in here. I think this was just a, a base storeroom. What's through here? Am I supposed to go through here? No, I don't think so. Unless we're supposed to use the jar of acid on that thing. There's a gate there. Don't know what it was from. Never mind, I found the gate it was from. Oh my god! God, you penis! You such a penis! Ah! Why? Why every time? <laughs> This game's got really good jump scares. This is a really good custom story, by the way. Oh! Blair Witchin' in the corner! Is he gone? Such a good run. I'm showing my balls! Oh my days. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh, AKA the guy screaming. Yep. I thought that we could maybe just use that guy's pain and suffering to, I don't know, distract from us. Oh, there's a hole here. Nice. I can't go in it. I can't I can't actually go in it. Do I need to like Chip it open with this hammer and chisel. Yep, that's exactly what I do. Okay. Man, that guy looked tall. Yeah, he was tall. I was crouched. I was crouched. To be fair, to be fair. I was crouched. But he is a tall guy. He's a tall guy. Oh, good. There is a path. Okay. I thought that I just fell in a hole and I just couldn't get out anymore. And that's how the story ends. Apparently someone else is... I can't crouch in this area. Why? Okay, I'm going up the colon and then we'll go back down the colon. Crowbar, very good. Uh, re instant reward. Immediate wealth! Immediate wealth! Did you notice that he had a sword for a hand? Because that's what uh, Scott and I were talking about earlier. When, oh, piss. Oh, that's okay. When we were talking about how, like, uh, Amnesia, the Dark Descent monsters have exceptional character design. Good. We can move around now. Excellent. Nothing. Oh, lore. Diary of Clyde Randall, 16th of June, 1840. People started talking about my secret escape route. Maybe someone saw it through the prison door window while I was digging. It must remain a secret in case I need to run off. I do not want these insane people here to find me out. God knows what kind of psychopaths could follow me outside. This feels like a Shawshank Redemption kind of arc, doesn't it? All you saw was there was a dark figure. The video will go up eventually. You'll see that. If it went so far as to corrupt the of the cell, of course I left something back in the hole to enforce the liquid. 
I also hope they believe what I wrote about this prison in my false announcement. Oh, I feel very sorry for my colleagues, but I seem to be the only one that does not go completely insane in here. I hope our boss James does not find out that I was the one faking this announcement. Luckily, he does not come down here that often, so it would buy me enough time to execute my escape plan. Which is literally the, sh the plot of the Shawshank Redemption. I'm actually going to go into my notes and I'm going to see what the lie was. Give me the notes. My god, the journal. Notes. Okay, uh, announcement to all workers. The unconfirmed report of a secret escape route or hole somewhere in the prisons are nonsense. That's just sus. That's so sus. That's not like, you're not fooling anybody with that. In fact, you're just raising suspicion, right? If employees need to evacuate in case of an emergency, they'll report in the southwest hallways of the prison. Okay, so you're still getting them into the prison anyway. That wasn't a very good lie. That was actually a crap lie. Cap. Hard cap. Hard cap on that one. All right. I understand why the workers did not want to go here. What a lifeless environment. Oh yeah, it's all about the atmosphere and not about the uh, gigantic fleshy monstrosities with their arms for swords and, and such as is life. Yep. I think we just found a ghost, uh, but he, he kind of blinked away before we could interrogate him further. But this one opens. What's in here? Hello? Hello? There's a chair for Blair Witching in the corner over here. That's weird. Why? Another chair here. A lot of blood right there. Well, someone's having a cry. I don't know if this is like hauntings. Looks like there's something in there. Oh, we didn't get that, um... Well, oh, we didn't get that oil that was behind that log gate. I think that was may have actually just been a troll by the developer. Have we still got the crowbar? No, got this chipper. Let's try and use it on this door. Nothing. Oh! No! No! Oh, he didn't see us. That's lucky. Okay, let's go explore this this side of the uh, the room. Nothing. Okay, is he coming this way? Nope. <laughs> He's not coming this way at all. Okay. Let's diversify our exploration a little. Oh, we can't go that way. I don't know why the music's kicking off. I'm not being chased. I swear to God, if another one like bursts out of these rooms and we get pincered into one area. Oh, this is coming. I'm going to be a little bit dark. We are in the dark. Fortunately, no, nope, that one doesn't open. That's not good at all. No! No, I'm not like this! No! Move! Move, sir! That is just John, he's chill. These guys have no chill. These guys have no chill. Yeah. It's that horrible little artifacting right there of my green screen. Right, so do we have to go through all of that again? Please tell me that's not what we do. We don't have to go through all of that again, do we? Two monsters is a little bit rough. You called it, yeah, I know. That's what I would have done if I was developing this, this uh, mod. Like it's dirty, it's a dirty trick, but I would have done it. <laughs> I, I, I don't know any better. I would have done it. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. They're gone. They're all gone. Okay, wonderful. Uh, we can probably actually go and see in the prisons that they bust open for us, right? This one here? Nope, that's not it. That was locked. This one here. This is the one they bust open. Okay, buster. Why did you bust this? Any, any reason whatsoever? Oh my god. I wonder what happened here. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Uh, I'm gonna start using the oil a little bit less uh, responsibly because we've got so much of it now that it doesn't really seem to make a bit of a difference. A lot of blood in here. I suppose that is supposed to be one of those kind of like morgue areas, right? But it seems like we're doing pretty fine. Seems like we're doing pretty fine indeed. Okie dokie, where are we going? No. Nope. 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 <laughs> Just, nope. I have seen way too many horror movies to know how that corridor ends. Uh, let's go check the other end of this prison, since all of the enemies seem to have despawned. What's in here? Locks. I wonder if, I wonder if touching those locked doors is what actually spawned those monsters. 
course, there's no way of knowing. But that's locked. That one's not locked. There's nothing in there. In here? It's in here. Nothing. And I'm pretty sure this one here was bust open. Yep, it was missing. Nothing in here. Shame. Bit of a shame, Bit of a shame that there were no resources. Uh, my heart is beating out of my chest, apparently. What's behind here? Nothing. Are you seriously trying to tell me there was no loot in any of these cells? Ah. Oh. Alexino16, hello there, it's me yet again. Welcome to the stream. We're playing a custom story. I just killed, by the way, a couple of hours ago, I killed Jevil. I killed him dead. He is absolutely 100% dead. And then I killed him again because I forgot to hit record so I couldn't prove it in a video. Ah, uh, such is life though, right? Say, Louis. And now we're doing a, uh, a rather well-made Amnesia custom story. Gotta be said, this one's probably my favorite one so far. Don't worry, you got tired of seeing me. What are we playing today? This is a custom story. It is called Lost in the Dark or something uh, along those lines. Okay, looks like we have to go down this hallway here. He's not holding anything up. Like they're not touching the beam. Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna get sick of seeing people in my chair. Come off that. Give yourself a little bit more credit. Someone is having a breakdown by the sounds of it. Uh, What, like in the prison? Because that's the only reward that we've got for coming here. I didn't realize we could pick things up and throw them as we jump. That's good. Okay, we're clear. Okay. <laughs> there was nothing in there, by the way. There was a complete waste of time to go into. Oh, that's weird. What the hell? So is this. What the hell is this? Uh, let's explore the obvious first. No, it's locked. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. And there's got to be, like, another room. Oh, there's another one here. Ow, my face. I just hit myself in the face with the door. It's absolutely fine. Don't know why, but it looks kind of like Skyrim. This is Skyrim. This is kind of like the uh, the horror version of Skyrim. Stop right there, criminals. No, that was Oblivion, wasn't it? I used to be an adventurer like you, until I took an arrow to the knee. Memes! Memes! Memes that actually would have been really popular around the time this... Uh, this, this mod would have been quite popular too. Because Skyrim came out in 2011. I hate to make everybody feel old, but it was literally that long ago. Yeah, that's Skyrim. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guy making background noise. Yeah, 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 that's Skyrim. That's Skyrim. That's Skyrim. Uh, I'm going to be doing a Skyrim playthrough in the late future, by the way. And I am only going to be using one mod, but I think it's essential. It is called the... Um, oh, what is it called? It basically... It punishes NPCs for saying... The, I took an arrow to the knee pun, the meme, but it smites them with lightning after they say it. I can't wait. I literally cannot wait to play it. It's so much fun. It is the, it's one of two mods that I will always install. What do we just pick up? Last jar, useless, emerald shipper. What do we, was it a memento? I feel a strong draft very close by, but where does it come from? Maybe this hole right here. Maybe actually behind this bookshelf would probably make the most sense. Uh, let's get up on top of this. Excuse me. I saw some drugs here. Very nice. Let's get this box and we will get on top of this so we can see which bookshelf hides the door. No. And... Excuse me. Jesus. Uh, no. Not there. So it's either behind that or through this cask. Probably not through the cask, to be quite honest. Gotta be behind this, right? Can't see it from this angle, though. Okay. Uh. I don't know why I thought they would do anything. How often do NPCs say that? It's actually quite a rare drop. Uh, NPCs don't say that too much. But, they will only say it once with this mod, which is why it's so funny. Because, like, I'll be 50 hours into a Skyrim playthrough, and I'll be in Whiterun, and they'll start saying the lines, and I'm just like... Rest in peace, soldier. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, psh, thunder. <laughs> Explosions. Everybody starts crying, and a guard chases me for a guard dying. Okay, so we need to... Uh, what do we need to figure out? The locked cell has number five written on the lock. Must be the same cell Peter Grant was talking about in the working report. Unfortunately, I can only open it with a key. Don't have one. I have to find the key that opens this gate. Okay, I need another key. Uh, I feel a strong draft. Right, so we're probably actually looking for a lever. 
I think. We're probably looking for a lever. It's got to be hidden somewhere. A lever. Or maybe a rock of some sort that we can try out and use as, as some kind of lever. Ah, this is sus. Is that supposed to be there? Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely supposed to be there. We'll have to agree that unaliving a chicken is a worse crime than unaliving the literal king. Yes, that was the first thing I did in Skyrim, by the way. When I first fired it up, I left the tutorial. I got to, uh, it wasn't Whiterun. Riverwood. No, River something. And I saw a chicken and I thought, ah, oh, I'll kill it with fire. See what happens. I killed it. Every single guard in the uh, stronghold aggroed on me. I was so pissed off. Uh, maybe it's behind here, actually. Maybe there's something going on behind here. Aha! There is something behind here. Can't move that. It's the barrels and the boxes that we have to move. Good. Good thing we're so strong, right? A barrel weighs like probably 15 to 20 kilos. And we're just hucking them around like they weigh absolutely nothing. Like they weigh a five-year-old little sister. Like they weigh Ralsei. In the uh, boss fight with the king. Okay. Coming around here. Why is there blood all through here? How much blood can one person spew out? I suppose we're about to find out. Riverwood, that's the one, yeah. Pure Skyrim logic. It is, isn't it? Actually... What? Didn't happen. That didn't happen. It 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 didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Okay? That made my leg flinch. I know, right? It wasn't a jump scare that was right in front of you either. It was a jump scare that was behind you. Immediately after you had cleared the area. That was rough. <laughs> that was so rough. I think my uh, my voice may have actually been the thing that ended up being the jump scare in that instance, though I'm really sorry about that. But at the same time, you wouldn't be here if there wasn't, like, a risk of a heart attack. Okay, we have a key. I think it's the one for the prison cell, right? Number five, now I can see where Jeffrey... Now I can see where Jeffrey from that last working report was imprisoned. Okay, weird continuity in that sentence, but I suppose it's fine. Hopefully nothing's going to burst out at us along the way, but I think we've already utilized all of the bursting that we could have seen in this area by bursting both... Oh no! He's naked! No! It was the piss that made me... Sp yeah, right, it, it was the piss... That's, re that's really clever, I gotta say. I haven't seen... Oh, I thought that was like the, um... Oops, move my fingers. I thought that was like the, um... Probably the cleverest thing. And I'm surprised that more custom stories aren't doing it. There's so many corpses in here. What's this? Oh, it's just a gate. That's fine. Ooh. Maybe I'll need a sanity potion in real life if this goes any further. I have sanity potions. It's uh, called anti-anxiety medication that I take it daily. <laughs> so I'm safe. I don't know about you guys. I'm safe. <laughs> Not a problem for me. I can bravely just throw myself into these these places. I don't mind. Okay, not that one. Definitely not that one. Uh, we've opened those ones. Those two are already open. I'm just going to flashbang as we go along. It's probably this one, right? The only one that's illuminated. Yep, here we go. Hello, Mr. Nude. How are you doing? Whoa! Whoa, 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 look at that! And then the scream made you flinch. I'm very sorry. Okay, we found some lore, but we haven't actually found anything useful. Oh! What's happening to me? Wait, was I supposed to like discover him and then grab his pizzle? Okay, physics is broken. I'm holding this lamp sideways. Here, I'll, I'll move so you guys can see it. Ah, just off. Just in its raw format. Where'd that lore go? Lore? There was lore, wasn't there? I'm not crazy, there was lore? Wait, where? Oh, uh, well, uh, what's happening to the walls? The windows! The walls! Okay, we still got walls, okay. God, there was a little bit of uh, sweat dripping down them for a second there. 
Wait, what just happened? I grabbed the man's, uh, the back of his neck. I think I was supposed to grab his, his uh, little danger dangler. And here we are. In what looks like a haunting of a room. Oh no. Oh, that's fine. Uh, key, thank you. Nope. <laughs> oh! No! Wait a minute. I just got around it. No, I can't. Okay, 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 okay. <gasps> oh! Ah, you triggered the rubber room of rats. I'll say. I'll say. You call me crazy, what's? Welcome to the Skyrim's back rooms. What happened to the door? This doesn't make it. Oh, ah, your penis! Ah, 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 ah. I think I'm just supposed to trigger a bunch of jump scares here. Oh, I did. Whoa, okay. Uh, let's. I'm going around. Uh, pardon me. Sorry. <laughs> just shut him in there. Did he actually lose sight of us? Is that a. Is that a thing? I think that's actually a thing. I think that actually just happened. I think he actually just lost sight of us and we are no longer being chased. Okay, that's way too heavy for us. Uh, probably don't need to do those two outside ones. Yeah, we definitely need to move that one. We've got all the time in the world, though, because they're... Oh, pass! 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 Ah! No! <laughs> oh! Oh! Runners of five jevils were chasing you with M16s? That'd be a bullet hell. That'd be a crazy bullet hell. Crazy you was crazy once? Yeah, I was crazy once. I was crazy once. I was in a padded room with a bunch of things. Okay, so I think we can... We just, like, do what the game's supposed to ask us to do. He's got a hell of a smile on his face for what we're trying to do. <laughs> I'm try I want the chair. I want the chair, please, sir. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, I see the note there. <laughs> Come on, man. How can you not look at this? Can I have the chair now, sir? Please? <laughs> I'm trying to, like, push him out of it. I wonder if this will get age restricted on YouTube. I'm hoping not. Probably not, right? Okay. What if we, like, try and rotate it? I'm just jamming it further into his groin. Okay, he's just T-posing, it seems. Ah, oh, well, I'm sorry for uh, defacing your corpse. I know that's a, a breach of the Geneva Convention. What the hell are watching my ears? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know you. I don't know what you mean. Regrets for something I do not memorize. Robert, I wish I could never do anything like this to you. The only things I can remember are hallucinations of a collapse of this prison, a stair system that connects to this prison, a floor with hotel rooms, especially for workers, a futuristic laboratory with a lot of big calculators on tables, which technically don't exist yet because electricity isn't put into a calculator for a long time and we are still using Epicus. As if these hallucinations were prognostic. Eventually all of this somehow was connected to a secret temple, but it was also vague. They took some stones from this temple and built a giant mechanism with green colored gears floating around in a very big room. I saw a figure at the controls of this mechanism like he was the one responsible for giving us our nightmares. But who was that person? When I came back to senses, all I saw was blood and prints scattered all over the machine. Robert was laying on the floor with his face bashed into unrecognizable pieces. I realized only seconds later that I was covered in blood too and was holding a hammer. I am very confident Viddler is involved with all the weird stuff happening and this machine is very real. But how am I ever going to convince anyone after being accused of beating my closest friend and calling to death? There must be a sinister reason we are not allowed in the sewers and a lot of other places. I know we are all here for sacrifice. I have seen it happen, but I wish I could understand why. I now have regrets for doing something I do not even memorize. My name is Jeffrey Dahmer, and this is my design. Wonderful. 
Why are you reading that with Papyrus's voice? It's, uh, it's, 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 it's Icelandic. They're Icelandic. The game's lore is like my sleep paralysis. Ah, uh, I don't get sleep paralysis. Weirdly, I'm actually quite surprised that I don't, because I probably would in most, in most cases. I, I qualify. I qualify for sleep paralysis. But I've never had it. I've never had it. Okay, we're going back through the, um, the room of, of thruples and lonely cucks. There's one, there's one lonely cuck, there's a thruple, a thruple, lonely cuck, thruple, thruple, cuck, cuck, thruple, thruple. <sighs> okay, that was sobering. Uh, let's never go in here again. I bet there's a monster in there. I'm closing it. And we will. Piss, piss. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't stop me. Okay. Enjoy the cups and thruples, Thick Thighs Theo, if that is your real name. What an asshole. Oh no, the, it's too heavy. Okay, I was gonna turn around and throw it at him while we sprinted. Like that. Okay, good. <laughs> we bought ourselves a little bit of time. Uh, let's stop this. I was literally heading tab to use some drugs. I don't think a lot about it, but it hits me like a truck at 3am for no apparent reason. The same with that lore. Yeah. The lore is pretty crazy. This is going to be one of the better custom stories that we've played so far. This is probably the fourth one that I've uh, really given a decent go. But I'm not being like... Done by it. I did not need the reminder of this. I did not need the reminder of that. Thick thighs, Theo. Thank you so much for reminding me of that naked man in a chair. Okay. So now there's a door on the other side of the Cuck and Thrupples room that we just kind of need to uh, get through, right? That's pretty much it. Oh, there's a Thrupple right there and a Cuck and another Cuck, actually. Let's uh, bunny hop over the Cucks. Right. Right. Soothing noises to sleep to. Yes. Yes. Violins being played wrong and monsters chasing us while I scream. Oops, wrong one. I need the key, apparently. We still have the uh, hammer and cold chisel. Oh, bugger this. Holy hell, everything is collapsing. I need to run. I am holding shit. I cannot, I cannot run. Uh-oh. Oh, that could have killed us. Are we on like a time limit? Stop flash banging me. It's making it real hard to make these turns. Okay, we're going, 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 we're going. Are we at the top? Not even close. Are we going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. I think we just got into a new instance of the staircase. We go, we go, we go, we go, we want the stick guys, we want the stick guys, we want the stick guys, we want No! 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 Don't you dare game! Don't you throw me off at the last You're insane! He is insane! The game's insane, I'm insane. Is there another We're all mad here? The game is safe. We can reload the scene. Thanks! Tool tip! What the hell? This is a, a new one. Did we break it? Uh, did we make it? I don't, yeah, I don't know if that was intentional or not. What a sudden collapse. It did not look that fragile. What is going on around here? Oh, now you're asking what's going on. Okay, we're laying in quite obvious water monster territory down here. Uh, we made it though. We survived. That's the important part. We survived. I don't like this. And what? No! Yes, it was quite obvious water monster territory. Oh, piss. We're not standing on anything. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay, I just couldn't see it. Ooh, I am not going to lie. I could sleep to this. I actually used to watch like, um... Horror let's play some games while I was going to sleep. To sleep. I was a psychotic teenager, I think. Okay, what's in here? Goodies? Any goodies in here? Doesn't really look like there's any goodies in here. Ah, uh, he's waiting for us to move. Good. And he's stupid. Okay, let's get all the way over here. Good. And now we can jump this. Okay, what's on this side? I don't think he can make it over here, which is pretty fun. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I found you, game. I see you, game sees game. Is there on time limit, though? Go up! What is wrong with you? Okay, good. It 
is on a time limit. Pass, 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 pass. Here's the water monster. Oh, what was I stuck on? The footsteps in the water are very loud. Be careful for anything. Yeah, they are really, really loud. I'm pretty sure you can also uh, smell the, the vibrations too. Is Water Monster still alive? Or are we good? Is that oil? Nice. Okay, I think we've just got a free pass out of this. I Yeah, we did. We definitely got a free pass out of it. And it sounds like the Watsamadoodle is uh, still ticking along. I don't know if we could go through and loot more stuff, but no, we definitely couldn't. Okay, we'll do that again, minus the water monster, I suppose. Boop. And up here, and up here, and up here, and I don't know where we're going next, but I will figure it out. We've harmed ourselves. We've harmed ourselves. That's not good. Oh, boxes. Thanks. Um, we'll go around them, I think. We'll go around these boxes, and I think next we will... Whoa, I just launched myself into the sky with that. Nice, got him. Hey, would you look at that? The water monster was at the objective this whole time. There's fall damage? Yeah, there's fall damage. There's definitely fall damage. I don't know what the hell this water monster is doing, but I think we need to cross the room. Yay! Oh, we made that. We actually made that. Wow! Okay, that'll give us a head start when we run forward, I think. Ah, that's also a gate. I think we have to open that gate and then we have to go in there. I don't think that is a door. There's also a door over there. Okay. We just ran out of oil, which is not amazing, but we've done it. Okay, I'm going to grab this, and we're going to toss it so far. Whoa, very nice. Let's get some oil in our lamp so we can see where we're going. We'll go over here while it settles. Oh, we're just shy of the door. No, we're not. Good. What's in there? That is safety. Perfect. Perfect. Piss. Ow. Oh, what am I doing? Damn, that thing is strong. Oh my god, boss fight room. Yeah, I'll say. I think we have to throw some uh, corpse for it, right? There's two of them! There's two of them! Okay, we gotta be faster. 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 We're dead. Keep out of the water! You threw me into the water! Sorry, I lost my call there for a second. I think the developer knows this. He's already put in a couple of trolls in this game. Oh, we've respawned right next to a bunch of goodies. What the hell? Seriously? Wow, that's really handy, actually. Thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. That was nice of him. He didn't have to do that. Okay, I think the water monster is sort of despawned because that seems to be a common trend in these custom stories. So we'll go through. Good, there's a ladder here. Let's put away this lantern so we can actually... Oh my God. <laughs> Seriously? Come on, fans! Are they trying to, like, lull me into a false sense of security so that they can do a jump scare at the top of this ladder? I see you, game! I know it's coming! I know it's coming! I know it's coming! Oh, they didn't take the bait. Huh. It's a... Mighty Christian of you, whoever made this. I did hit my head on that, though. Okay, we should probably crouch through here, right? What is this? A hollow needle. We got two of these. No, we do not. Oh, um, that's certain death. Oh well, when in France. Ow. <laughs> My ankles. My ankles! Ah! Okay, we can probably pick that gate now. In fact, we've probably actually got free reign for this entire area. So what was this? This is... Locked, okay, good. So we probably have to go through here and get some kind of key. I don't know if I blind, but I don't see any monster. I only see his footsteps. Yeah, it's the amnesia water monster. It is uh, invisible. Terrifying, until you realize it doesn't have a character model. Oh, thank the Lord we're playing the high quality version of this, right? Could you imagine the resolution of that, what, what the hell? Of that water monster if we were playing the, uh, if we were playing the crap version of this? Okay, let's take a laudanum. Let's get some drugs in our system. Uh, get a bunch of drugs in our system, actually. I don't like this room. This uh, room actually is a big bad. I don't like this whatsoever. Big yuck. All right, we're way faster now. Where the hell are we? Is this an acid trip? Honestly, it's pretty 
Good looking for an acid trip. Gotta be said. Ah, oh, we ran out of oil for our lamp. Which is fine, because this whole place is illuminated by something. I don't specifically know what it's illuminated by, but it is illuminated. Okay, what's in here? This is a machine! This must be the one that is famously covered in brains. What the hell is going on down there? Oh, I see. Okay. Just hadn't loaded the floor in. Whew. You took too many drugs, now you're in a waterfall. I suppose I did take a lot of drugs, didn't I? Laudanum is a, a concoction of morphine, cocaine, alcohol, uh, probably meth, and ibuprofen as well. Just the nastiest drugs you can think of. Warning! Explosion danger. Always activate the cooling system before empowering the water pump. Oh, no, this is just instructions. On the right side of the pump is a lever. Pulling the lever activates the cooling system. When the cooling system is fully operational, you will hear a bell. Now press the orange button to safely turn on the water pump. Not activating the cooling system will lead to an overheated pump and eventually explosion danger. Or donger. I don't know. I don't know how the Icelands say it. Uh, anything behind here? Any goodies? Any goodies on here? No. Right, so we need a lever first. Uh, okay. Strange. We need to cook it! <laughs> don't worry, I've still got... What the hell? I've still got plenty of drugs. I just heard a, a bottle? Meth? Maybe? I just heard some meth under the water. We need three giant gears. Oh, piss off. Are you kidding me? I have to get rid of all of this water. Will I still activate the pump? It'll definitely turn into a time bomb. Just put it back. Engineering 101. If I've learned anything from fixing cars, it says sometimes you just have to hit it with a hammer and it'll work. Okay, that's gone forever. Right, so we need a few things now, don't we? We need three gears. We need three gears and this note says nothing about them. I think we have to go into the, no, we don't have to go into those. That is nothing. These boxes seem to be nothing. What am I bumping into? What are the glass? Where's the glass? That just turned into technical gameplay. I tried to do that too, but it doesn't work in laptops. Oh, yeah, no, you got to use a, a rubber mallet for, for a laptop. You can't just use any old normal hammer. Like, the, they're made of metal, of course, so it'll it'll blow your computer up. Which is how explosions work. So, I'm looking for three gears, am I not? Or do I just have to rotate this a bunch? Nope, that's definitely stuck. I can't open this, I don't think. No, definitely can't open that. I still have this empty glass jar which doesn't have anything in it. Why the hell did I take this? Uh. Alright, let's go. Yeah. We'll go back a little bit, I think. We'll see if we can't find ourselves maybe a, um, a gear or something in the water. We'll see if we can't trip over. Right. There could also be secrets around the place. It's really hard to tell with these custom stories. This custom story specifically made us go all the way back to the start of the map. Like, two phases back in the map just to unlock a single door. Okay. So, probably in the wrong place. If we need gears. We can go back, which is a good sign. Don't know how far we can go back. Right, so... We do that, and that gate opens there. Here. Can we open this? Oh yeah, we had to pick that open, I think. Oh, we can't actually go in there. It's a bit cruel. Cruel and unusual. Gotta be said. So we gotta be in here. This is the place we gotta be. Okay, I don't know why we spawn facing that door. Like we just walk through the door backwards. Maybe we're closing it, maybe we're courteous. But when I close the door, I usually just like do it with my foot as I go through the door. I am fairly dexterous though, so. Maybe that's... Maybe it doesn't work for everybody. Well, that actually scared me a little bit. Um, I think that maybe we're just some kind of clumsy oak. With one hand. What is that? Why do I hear glass bumping around? So strange. Okay. Right, so, this one we don't want to touch. Uh, we can't go in here, even though the... Map makers actually designed it. What the hell? What the hell is going on? 
Maybe it's just like the ambient sounds of things rubbing up against the walls. Possibly. Uh, did I just see a hand? No. No, I did not. We need gears! We need gears! And we're probably not going to find any. Uh, we probably... What the hell did I trip on here? Ooh, what's this? Ah, oh, it's nothing! Nothing! Okay, still can't open this for some reason. Oh, yeah, we can. It's just stuck. It's completely stuck. Okay. Do we fill up this jar with water? No. Oh, oh! What? The hell? Is this supposed to be the button? Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh, it's gonna explode! And I'm stuck in this tiny little area! Are we supposed to close this? Okay. We broke it. Great. That's exactly what we wanted to- Ah, there's no water though. Excellent. So we can go in here now, which was locked off for us. And there's another room uh, that was locked off for us, kind of on the way back, I think. So now we can open them. What's in here? Penis! It's a penis! It's an idiot! It's an idiot trying to attack us! Ah, oh, what an asshole! Blair Witchin' in the corner! Trying to see him through this gap here, can't we? Alright, where is he? Is he coming through? I bet he's gonna come through, right? I don't see him. Where the hell is he? Hello? Oh, there he is. Thick Thighs Theo has entered the room! Can we just run back around him? I'm gonna do it. Ah, dead! I got stuck on the machine ring! Okay, I'm gonna run and slay him because I know that he has trouble pathfinding to me if I do this. Oh, piss! Okay, we, we took a hit, which is fine. We can probably take another two before we go down in a heap of flame. Oh, actually, we can also, uh... What the hell? Um... I don't know why he aggroed to that door instead of me, but I'm not gonna look at Gift Horse in the mouth. What a guy! What a guy! What an asshole! All the water is gone, so that secure door must be open now. But the water pump will explode soon. I must be fast. Okie dokie. Let's do that. Done! I am fast. Oh no, I get away from water heading this way, but what can I do? Run, you idiot! Oh no. Oh well, we got through the gate. What is up with this forced location? Garbage. I know if I jump, I can move forward ever so slightly. Okay, it's filling up pretty high. I think we're gonna get swept away, right? Oh, look. The lamp works underwater. That's good to know. That's actually really good information to have. Okay, I think we're just gonna drown here. Yep, lamp is still fine. The water level is too high. I cannot turn on the lantern at the moment. What, you say that now? Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Not here! No! Oh! Oh! What is going on? Uh, type into path, type into path. Uh, I always go mid. Uh, I'm going there. No! Seriously? You just killed me! The game that just killed me! Okay, here we are, 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 here we are. We're gonna make it. We're dead. Why doesn't my message send? Uh, YouTube's been having a couple of strange issues lately with chat, but it should be fine. It should be fine. Um, most of them are sending. It just seems to be like a temporary issue. Okay, so we shouldn't be chasing anymore, right? Oh, I can't crouch. I no! No! Okay, we don't have to open that door, which is just fantastic. And we don't have to go back. We don't have to backtrack left again. Excellent. So we'll go this way. And hopefully we will outrun the water monster. Uh, very, very well. We need to go this way because this is the path. And hopefully there's not another door. Wow, this is long. 
This is a big sewer. Okay. I went left. I went left. I went left. I went left. I think that right would have been dead. I'm going right. I'm going right. And now I'm going to go straight because there's only... Oh, piss! And now I'm going straight. Oh, no! Not like that! Oh, this is terrifying! I used the door. I used the door. I used the door. Oh. Oh. Some of these chases are actual BS. Only when they block off the path in front of you as if you're supposed to know that it was about to happen. That's the only time I would really say it's BS. Because if you really think about it, they do kind of despawn the monster for a good amount of time. Sometimes entirely. Sometimes entirely despawn the monster altogether. And that by its own merit is actually a lot more forgiving than the base game of Amnesia the Dark Descent. Have we done it? Is this the... Whoops. Oh, we've... Oh. Whoops. Right, we've done it! Sel oh. Whoops. Right, salvation! Um. Whoops. Alright, here we are! We've made it! We... Oops. Alright, here we are! We've done it! Oops. Alright, here we are! We're in it! Oops. Maybe we just like throw it open and just sprint through. Okay, this looks like a perfectly peaceful place. Salvation is broken! <laughs> it always is, isn't it? Oh, look at the bazinkas on her! I keep finding diaries, but where is everyone? Ah, uh, what? You haven't made the connection of all of the people being the things hunting you down? The fountains do not work because I broke the water pump. Oh, thank you for this needless exposition. Why? Why did you tell me this? Hey, there's a wee statue here. Uh, I'm taking it. This is mine. I went through absolute hell and this is now my reward. I am rewarding myself. That is what adults do. This is how adults function. Adults reward themselves for doing good. Okay, we can't break pots with this thing, so it's not actually as great a reward as I thought it was. That odd feeling from my hallucination is coming back. Am I going insane too? Oh, piss on that! Hell no! Hell no! What's up the stairs? Try up here first. Big yuck! Big yuck to what we just found. There's a door. What's this? One! It's got one on it. Don't know what that is. For all that suffering, you should take the, all that terrain and sell it to a Walmart. I don't think Walmart would buy most of this terrain. I found a lot of clipping textures. This is two. I think the music's overlapping. Oh my god, this place is huge. Why'd they put so much effort into this one area here? I wonder. Oh, never heard to check. This one's three. Probably gonna be full of thruples if uh, the morgue was anything to go by. How's this padlock? Is it go Oh no! That did it! Developer did it again! Oh, that's so rude! Nope, that's not what we want. We want mementos. A very strong lock with a broken key in it is securing this big gate to level four. In fact, I can only think of melting the lock with something. Right, so now the glass jar comes in handy, right? It's a church. The power of God shines within you. <laughs> ah, yeah. That's nice, actually. Is that an Undertale thing or is that um, Delta Rune? I remember that from something, but I haven't played Undertale, so I may have seen it in the Steam communities. Okay, we're going to go through the mist. Mistlands, here I come! And before Valheim, and before this is Valheim, this is Valheim. Look, Mistlands. There's nothing down here! Why did they hide this area? Oh my god! Uh. Oh my god! Hey! Friend? Okay. I'm leaving, I think. I'm going to where I think leaving is. No, there's nothing here. How am I supposed to leave without a door? Super strange. Deltarune, Undertale is determination. Deltarune is chance within you. Now that's an actual backrooms level. I know. This is sinister, isn't it? I love how every game that I have played recently has had some kind of homage to the backrooms. Even Remnant 2 had a backrooms level. That is, it's just so cool. Oh, hello, again. Oh, this is, um, maybe not the best thing in the world. Fire is, uh, going downwards. Candle wax is not, that's very strange. Hello, sir? 
Hello, sir. Just chained up, I see. Okay, very good, very good, very good. How about you, sir? You have time to talk about our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ? Because good God, you need him. Uh, again, nothing else in here. Maybe we just explore around and touch these candles again. Is this just supposed to be oh, like a drug trip? I think it actually is. Oh, damn it, I shouldn't have... Shouldn't have taken so much laudanum. A lot of dudes here. Any of them have like a key or something? This reminds me of a level in the mortuary assistant. One of the demons, if you go into his like pocket dimension, um, there's like mannequins all over the place, and one of them is actually the demon itself. And as soon as you find him, he like turns his head right at you. Newton didn't exist in that world, therefore gravity hasn't been discovered, therefore you can fly. Well, then in this world, I will be the discoverer of gravity. What are you doing? Are you like ashamed of your puzzle or something? It's not that bad. At least it's hard. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to bask in the warm glow of the lights. Oh, yes, this is nice. This is peak gameplay right here. Ooh. Ooh. You're feeling very sleepy. Oh. Did he move? Anything in his butt? Any keys? He's in his butt? Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you for welcoming me into such a inviting nightmare. I guess there's no walls over there. That's, uh, that's sus. Okay, we're at the candle. We're at the candle. We're at the candle. Oh, get out! I would love to! Thank you for the advice! I am trying! The statue's lying on a lot of blood. Maybe he was used to beat somebody into a pulp. Being mid-crust fills you with <laughs> determination. It looks like my school's corridor. Yeah, it looks like um, at my old school as well. I haven't been there in like 12 years on account of the fact that I finished it, but it reminds me of it. You want to... Uh... Okay, we just have to touch another one of these candles, I think. What is going on? Oh, here we go. We've come to. Uh. Thanks. I'll be on my, um. I'll be on my way now. You keep doing you. And, uh. I hope we never see each other again. Bye now. Man, that kettle soup was kind of hot, right? Drugs? That game is just drugs and complete trap. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> I have to have the bravery to like go through the drugs though. I'm the one holding W. That's the, that's the issue here. <laughs> oh, thank God we got the high quality version. Maybe the high quality version only contains that instance of drug trip. What if you need the candle to melt the lock? Uh, that's okay. We can always go back for it. Bit of a hot piece. We'll probably go back for it anyway. Uh, let's open this up. Also, sorry for that um, crass dad pun. Oh, my reward. Great. Throw it at that Byzantinian man. Oh, yes. My reward is destruction. Oh, that feels good. Ah, soothes me. What's in here? A note. Do I have to get in this chest? Oh, oh. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Okay, we got it. Diary of Jenny Whittler. One of two. Dear diary, mommy never talks about the safe behind the painting to me. Oh, spoilers. When she was talking to Daddy about it, I discovered where it was. I heard Mommy was angry with Daddy because she is scared and had to lock up some man in our basement. Daddy told me he was a bad man. Daddy is also doing stuff on the experiment floor on level 2. Something with Fluxus system texting. testing. I, I don't know what that means anyway. I wish I was allowed to play outside again. Daddy does not let me. Man, she needs an education. Girl, you need to go to school. I feel like she was homeschooled. Anything in there? No, never is. Anything in the fire? 
I played an amnesia custom mob where there was a chest in the fire. God, it was funny because you touch it and it's just like dirt, it burns. And you're like, oh, why? And then you realize, oh, it's it's fire. Uh, probably on, probably this one, right? Yeah, there it is. It's a little door! Ah, oh, it's adorable! Well, even the power of God won't open it. Diary of Adam Whittler, 25th, tw 21th of June, 1840. My wife is having a hard time with my experiments. Luckily, she still obeys my orders. My new Flex's security system will never be cracked by anyone, but to get the Flex key produced is very dangerous. The power sources I have found in that temple are endless, but I must keep my mind clear to use them. I heard one of the workers named Clyde Randall is resistant to the nightmares and mental. How can that be? He must die. I must have full control with the regulator. I will try my best to keep my wife and daughter out of all of this. They will save me from my wicked mind propagation. I will lock my daughter in the chest. That is where she will fill out her journey. Okay, wonderful. And also a little bit excessive. Oh, what if we just like... Okay, this is not gonna work. What kind of family is this one? I know there are some weird and dysfunctional families, but this is too much. Yeah, I know, right? This is this is the child's bedroom right here. Oh, now it stays open. Okay, game. Okay. Buddy. Buddy game. What's in here? This looks like a dining room, but also a murder hole. I've got a knife. I've got a knife. Good. We'll defend ourselves against anything with this. Excellent. Let's put this in the soup. Give it a nice sharp texture. Uh, I missed, didn't I? That's okay. Boop, there we go. Excellent. And we'll move that chair because it was in my immediate way. There is a broken... What was that? Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I found a door. <laughs> I found a door. And this is like everywhere. Oh no, it's actually just the developer putting in a clipping texture every now and then. I'm seriously starting to think that the game hates you. This game does hate me. I just ran out of oil literally as you said that. And the game was all like, yeah, watch this. Watch, watch what I can do to him. Uh, anything in here? Is there like a book that we can pull to open up that? Ooh. Damn it. It's not what I wanted. A bunch of bottles down here. Can we break them? No, they are undisturbed. What's in here? Maps. Don't care. Any loot? The hell? Oh, come off it. Is that because of the... You packed it too tightly and now I can... Oh, for God's sake, game. Come on. Righty-ho. What's up here? Anything on top of here? Nope. Okay. Dear little Jenny, this is only relevant in case of an emergency, honey. The key to the basement is behind one of the books in our bedroom. Grab a chair because it is on the very high shelf. I had to lock one of the workers up in our own the basement. You know, those people normally working in the big basement. Just because daddy told me to do it, I will let him out one day when daddy is not watching. If that chance will ever happen. Do not tell daddy I told you all of this, but he is doing weird things upstairs in level 2. If someone ever breaks into our house or something, only then search for this key. I know it is not nice down there, but it is the only place I can think of for you to hide. I love you, sweetie mommy. Okay. I wonder why the um I wonder why the kid didn't have the same accent as her parents. Kind of weird, right? Uh, we need a chair. Let's use this one, and we will grab the we'll we'll grab it. We'll grab the log. We'll stand on the we'll stand on the spine of the chair because um you know I've seen lots of TV ads for ACC where that happens. So the book wasn't completely useless after all? No, it seems as though it wasn't. And I'm sorry I had so much trouble verbalizing your comment. That's the mother and you're reading it with the father's name? Whoops. Oh no. This looks locked. But? No. Okay. But? No. Oh! Basement key? Oh, bugger this. Oh, I've got, I've got oil. I've got lots of oil. Well, something happened down here. I thought that door was going to break for a second and glitch out and then disappear so we could go back. OH MY GOD! Okay. 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 This game is- OH MY GOD! There's nothing in there! That's a monster! I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Oh, there's sounds. There's sounds. Can I open this? No! 
It sounds. Oh, no, just stuck in that. Just stuck in this horrible, stuck in this horrible place. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm going! Screw you, thick size Theo. Taste door! <laughs> He's gonna bust that thing down while I'm in his while I'm in his bedroom, looting all of his things. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, there's a key, yoink, and also lore! Why did they do this to me? This woman and her little daughter were the last persons I saw before I got locked up in the basement. The lady asked me to fist a lick down there, but I could not find any leak, except for the ones in the people. After a while searching, I wanted to go back and get some more lamp oil, but the door was locked. Who could do such a thing? Did they just forget me? Now I am locked in another basement again. I should have never signed up for this work. I found this useless little key. I don't know what it does for. I fell asleep after waiting for a while, and I got these insane nightmares so real, so dark and awfully scary. I screamed for hours until my throat began to hurt, mode. Now I have been locked in here for at least two days. Well, I think it is two days. You know, you really used to check time in all this darkness, and now the only candle I found is about to burn out. Was that this guy? Yep. Okay. Round around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. Monkey, stop! You look like a cock! Goes around the weasel! Nice! Nice! Did you just break the game with Buck? <laughs> yeah, I did! I'm a game breaker, by the way. I, I didn't always spook you. I basically started... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We have to open it! Oh, that's fine. We'll shut him down there and we'll lock it as well. Ah, this sucks for him. Um, I started making YouTube videos just breaking games and finding exploits. You can scream as much as you want, nobody will hear you. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Yes, except for the child! Except for the child who hears the screams and said that she will let him out as soon as she is able, but I actually think that in reality she probably realistically uh, grew up before that, before that happened. Okay, what's next? We are now on the second level of Night Terrors. I, this is, this area feels quite final. Oh, for God's sake, why does it always... <laughs> that, actually, this doesn't make sense, because if this is above the bedroom, then this staircase here should be leading right into... the bedroom. <laughs> Note. Diary of Lucas Brighton, 19th of June, 1840. Dead priest! That ass! I know he is my boss, but why transfer me to this garbage hole? The big basement was not that Great. Especially not since the rest of my colleagues were forced to go to those prisons because of safety measurements. But come on. In here, this Dr. Jingle we work with is doing the weirdest things. He was carrying all things out of highly explosive green urns all around the place, and we had to help him with them. Last night, I heard him even mumble to himself next to that, to that creepy altar. I was secretly watching him doing his rituals, and then all of a sudden I got knocked out. What followed were horrible hallucinations, and I saw the darkest darkness I could ever imagine. My head hurts ever since that happened. Because I was hit in the head. Some of the workers were talking about the guy named Clyde Randall. He is supposed to be immune to the nightmares. Some people here believe he will be the one that saves us, but what can one man do against the whole company? I don't even want to imagine how much did that family pay for rented taxes having such a big house. Yeah, uh, and then you think of like the heating bill. The heating bill alone would have sucked. Even just like enough money to, to light these braziers would, would just be the worst. Okay, I don't think this is the key, right? I think Jenny was talking about this key in her diary. Yeah, this isn't the one. This, this isn't the way. I think we go up to three. I think we're pretty much sorted down here, unless we're about to be ganked. No, we're not about to be, about, about to be ganked. That was lucky, we could have been ganked. Okay! We're doing pretty well. Uh, we got a giant Templar's cross right up there. A uh, little bit of Hol Holy Roman Empire imagery right there. How uh, uh, bougie. How uh, bougie indeed. What a bougie symbol to stick on your walls. Also a little bit racist, but that's assuming you know what it means. Before you stick it up. It's like accidentally getting the swastika the wrong way. Okay, I know exactly how this is going to go. We got to take a box. 
probably this one, and we gotta pile it up onto what looks like this here switch. Okay, that <laughs> mezzanine just sandbagged us. Is this what we do? Oh, maybe actually it's not a switch, maybe it's a bookshelf that's just been turned on its front. Okay, what is this? Equidario Praesis. It's locked. It's completely locked. It's good to know I'm not the only one that thinks of like how much it would cost to heat a castle when I'm running through a video game. It's quite funny. Right, so this looks like machinery. Can I have it? Hell, why do I have to pixel hunt for this? Fluxus Security Manual, the Fluxus Security System by Whitler Constructions. The very best way of locking things out or in is by Fluxus Security Systems. It is a technology exclusively owned by Whitler Constructions. It is a mixture of ancient secret forces and modern day technology. Because of this elite blend, you and your family are safer than ever. Be welcome to our safest place in the complex, our hotel floor. Hotel, brand, prestige. The flux key is required to enter our hotel. These keys are only handled by our managers, so ask them to enter of or leave our hotel grand prestige. Oh, this is a hotel! Flipping texture. Right there. That's great. Uh, so, we need to go and harass a manager, don't we? Oh, we need to go and harass a manager, don't we? Probably gonna be one of the thick thighs Theo guys walking around. Unless there's like a door behind this cask right here. No, there is not. Uh, doesn't look like there's enough boxes to get up the floor. Maybe there is. If we can move these two, there definitely are. No, there are not. Wait. I can do this. I can, I can, I can actually do this. I can do this. I can sequence break up there. What even flux means? Flux like flow? Um, in metallurgy, flux is kind of like the slag that you don't want in your alloy. I don't think they're talking about that, that though. I don't know any other definition of flux. <laughs> awesome, free height. Great, let's grab this. I didn't expect that. That tickled me in all the right ways. Let's come over here. We'll put a box on top of here. And there is a method to my madness. There is a method. There is a, there's a, there's a myth to my madness. Just, just let it cook. We gotta cook, we gotta cook the meth. Oh yes, oh yes, oh, oh, <laughs> well I never, oh, 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 you shouldn't have, <laughs> oh, 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 and now, the cool the top, we sprint, oh, so close, I will break my ankles getting up there by the way, I will do it, I do not give two hoots, Okay, apparently we're quite hurt. Breaking a horror game with stupid exploits yet again. <laughs> yeah, baby! In Spanish, flux translates the same as flow. Ah, I didn't know that. I don't speak much Espanol. Um, my Espanol is absolute mierda. Okay, we've broken both of our legs, I think. We're barely conscious because we've broken both of our ankles. Let's just have some laudanum and get out. <laughs> Maybe it's not the best thing in the world to be doing. Unless there is a way. No, there is not. There's definitely not a way. Let's just go up here one more time. We'll try it one more time because I think that once we like get around these two little uh, what's my doodles, we can ah piss. We can like sprint jump over to the landing and then hop over that railing. I think that that's actually a thing. Okay. Uh, we'll come around here real cautious like. Yep. Good. And around here real cautious like. Maybe we just. Maybe we don't need to sprint jump. Maybe we just need to like skirt along all around the edges. Oh, getting real good at the oh, no! Okay, we need to jump onto that last little platform, I think. Okay, struggling to get up on this box. My English is the one I have to improve. Mi espanol es perfecto. I should learn Spanish! I need to learn Spanish! Oh my god! <laughs> By the way, for anyone who doesn't know what just happened, uh, bug testing 101, sprint into a corner where one corner is not like flat um, plane, so like one straight wall and one kind of rounded ledge, and you should be able to glitch through that geometry on an untested game. All right, let's see what else is in here. All right. I found the bedroom. I found the bedroom I'm not supposed to find. Am I supposed to hide in here from something? Who knows? What's this? Empty! Who gives two hoots? 
We can break the uh, glass up here as a celebration, I suppose. Good. That's to celebrate. And draws all over the ground. Wow, I hucked that one. Good. Good. Uh, looks okay in here so far. Looks like someone's cooking up a big feed. Let's um, add some nice sharp flavors in there. Okay, yum yum. Nothing else in here. I think this is supposed to be like a little kitchenette in a hotel. I think this is actually a hotel we just glitched our way into. Okay, what else is in here? And maybe we can like open the uh, gate from behind. Are we about to be attacked? Are we about to be attacked? Back here. Nothing, of course. Righty ho, and nothing in that corner either. Good. So can we open this? No, it's completely locked. So let's just loot this place and then forget it ever existed. Uh, we'll go and get the thing that requires us to actually be in here, I suppose. But I don't really think it's necessary. Are we even supposed to be up here? I'm not sure if this area was uh, very well thought out. Okay, that's the other hotel room. We're looking here. The fact there's two other people on the stream without saying a single word feels weird. We are being watched. That's, that's just streaming. That's just streaming. They're being entertained. It's kind of cool, actually. Um, like, the reason I stream... Oh, I didn't even need to bash that. The reason I stream is uh, to kind of, like, brighten up people's days. Because it's a hard world. It's a hard world, and very rarely does someone actually want to speak in chat. And that's, that's just a, a strange fact of streaming. A lot of people aren't um, necessarily so, so, social watchers. I'd say majority of them lurk. Okay, anything in here worth our time? Literally nothing, but I am going to explore this area anyway because it was put into the game. Why would I not? Why would I not explore this, uh, this area? We're going to go upstairs next, see what's up here. Right. This should be like a, a master suite, right? What the hell? Okay. Weird. I know there's this... Uh... Is this area supposed to be in the game? Why did they program it in? If it's all just the same stuff? Oops. Good. Nice. Matt, whoever manages this hotel is going to be super pissed when they get back. They find that I've just absolutely ransacked this place. I haven't taken anything. I've just kind of like broken all of the stuff in here. I'm like, I'm looking on top of the beds in case there's like a key on top of there. Because I feel like at some point, someone is going to hide something up there. Hey, do you have thalassophobia? Um, thalassophobia? Is that what you were talking about? The fear of holes? No. Fear of like really, really big spaces. That's it, right? That's what you're talking about? I don't have it, necessarily. I'm actually, um, I'm thalassophilic, I guess you could say. I'm soothed by enlarged spaces. Oh, that's... Really? Wait, why can't I... Why can't I jerk it downwards? Why does it only go up? The hell? <laughs> Obviously that's a door. Okay, fine. We'll loot the rooms first. I don't have a lot of phobias. I'm terrified of the ocean, though. Uh, that is a phobia that I have never outgrown. Always been terrified of the ocean. That's big in a sense that it's also dark and full of things that want to eat you. I don't like a nightclub, I suppose. Um, especially when you look like this. Fear of the sea, dude, because of not Subnautica is the game for you. Oh, yeah, I definitely have a fear of the ocean. I definitely have it. Subnautica's been recommended to me a few times. It's on the list. It's on the list of games to play. Uh, I'll be getting to it eventually, but that's one that I am not ready to rush into. Every single one of these rooms is exactly the same. Was it just copied and pasted? It feels like it was copied and pasted. Okay, let's go into this middle room. Oh, there was nothing in here. So, we went into there and went into there. The only thing that we can really deal with is this lever right here. Maybe we jump and grab it from up top. Maybe? Why does it only go up? That's... That's the strangest thing. Maybe we have to get a chair and just, like, look at it from downways. Thalassophobia. Oh, I, th oh, I was mistaken for, um... Thalassophobia, I think. There's a very similar one, which is just like a fear of really, really huge um, environments. Diary of Moses Jingle, 30th of June, 1840. I must not forget the switch behind the painting in my personal dining room here. 
I think I can trust uh, that hotel manager Gregory with the location of the other switch. He's just a mindless idiot like all the other workers around here. Oh my, only the very best test results end up in a hotel for further examination. If they fully transform, they do not turn to stone. They will be the most dangerous creatures we have ever possessed. Whitler and the company must keep the regulator running at all costs or everything will be lost. Unless there is still no trace of this Clyde Crandall. People are still discovering this immunity, so he must be finished. Right, so in here, behind a painting. Nope, wrong way. In the end here, behind a painting. What the hell? I'm certain that that just said, in my personal... Where is it? In my, in, in my, in my personal... Behind the painting in my personal dining room here. Moses Yingle, okay. I was scared of the sea until I was forced by a friend to play some Nordica. That were good times. That honestly terrifies me. I, my top four biggest, well, were, my top three biggest fears are the unknown, then the ocean, then sharks. And the fourth one used to be the dark, but um, doing martial arts for so long kind of makes you realize that you are, in fact, the scariest thing in the dark at any given time. So that fear kind of goes away pretty quickly. Oh, here it is. Great. Uh, this is the lever right here. Is that the right way? Or does it go up? Yep, oh, definitely goes down. Uh. Okay. Right. And the other one is probably in the manager's room. Might be across here. Don't play Subnautical. It has all four. Okay. Uh, I will play it at some point because at the same time, I do quite like facing my fears. That is how I overcome my fears, is by facing them. That's why I am so brave. Diary of Gregory, 21st of June, 1840. As hotel manager, you know a lot of secrets, but some are so hard to keep, especially if you know what that psychopath Whittler is planning. His personal doctor and friend, Moses Yingle, tries to keep it all a secret too, but with all the screams I hear coming from the hotel, and knowing he is a experiment enthusiast, it is not hard to speculate. He told me one of the secret switches to open the highly secret door to the workers' section of the Grand Hotel Prestige floor. But to be honest, it's a weird location for a switch. Why choose my closet? Okay, good. Wonderful. In here. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, that's so obvious. What? Well, especially when there's like a torch in here. Is that right? Okay, I assume it's that one. And then we got to go hit this one over here on the other side of the room. It's considered a psychological horror, Subnautica. That does not surprise me. I watched um, Sips play a little bit of it. It genuinely is a terrifying game. But this bastard just plays it as if it's like, so normal. Okay, I've hit it. I've hit these two levers. This should be good enough, right? There should be a uh, bookshelf next. I feel like bookshelf next. Unless we're not supposed to be up here in the first place, in which case, maybe we'll just leave and come back. Oh my God, we sequence broke the... Oh, 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 no. No! No! There's no way back up! I'm hiding! I'm hiding in here! I'm going this way! I'm going this way! I'm going this way! I'm going this way! And I'm hiding- ah! Ah! I'm hiding this side. I'm hiding this side. I'm hiding this side. Oh. It has a beautiful law though, and even a sequel. Yeah, that's uh, Sub-Zero, right? Looks really good. Looks really, really good. Like, I can't wait to play it, but at the same time, I'm afraid to. Piss off! Okay, I'm gonna wait until he doesn't attack, and then I'm gonna throw the door open, and I'm gonna get it. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, I can't open this one. You can only open this one. He's blocking me in! No! This guy is such a penis. He's actually such a penis. Okay, we had to take that hit. Oh my god, we're alive! Okay. If we go all the way over here and try and open this, I suppose. Oh, that's good, 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 yep. I'll just try and jam the door open, I suppose, right? Glad you're finally out of the closet! <laughs> Ah, oh, uh, 
I'm, I'm not in the closet. I'm not out of the closet. I'm in the closet. I'm definitely in the closet. There is no escaping. Okay, we took that hit. Congratulations, you're soft blocked. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Well, I wonder what the hell was behind there. Or if it was just like a, a, a goofy JPIT kind of like, hey, you broke the game. No way. Are we still in here? Are we still up in the hotel? No shot. Ah! Oh! Being a game breaker has never been so lucrative. What's up here then? <laughs> Looks like Samara's been here. There's a lot of hair all over the place. Must be the worker section of the hotel. I see what they're up to, I suppose. What the hell? Honestly. I don't know how much of this game we just skipped. This place is filled with darkness. I have to draw a map or I'll get lost. Is it? Oh, a note. Diary of Lucas Brighton, 23rd of July, 1814. The flyer of the workers got set. Welcome to Hotel Grand Prestige, the flawler now complex where your wishes come true. Only the best workers have the privilege to be invited to a vacation area. Blah, blah, blah. It was just a bunch of nonsense to get us here, as if a demoralizing environment like this will help us lose our nightmares and stress. What if the guys just kept staring at me like he was really out of his wits, like he was turning into a beast? They don't have maps on the wall, but I would draw one myself because I will get lost in here pretty quick. Those damn stone statues appear everywhere. They freak me out. They are planning something evil with us, I am sure. And by the way, what is this little girl doing here, and who is she? I think she is daughter. Hello? Hello? It is I, Jensen. Oh, this place is a maze, isn't it? Oh, no way. What's in here? Uh. Oh, my God. Did I just fluke this? I just floated it! Okay, let's get rid of our uh, lamp. We'll go around in the dark for a little bit because we're actually running really, really low on oil. We've got 30 tinder boxes. I don't think there's anything that we can kind of light to say, hey, we've already been here. But we'll flashbang. We'll flashbang every now and then, I think. Yeah, I think that's going to work. What's through here? You've just skipped half the game using the most stupid exploits the world has ever seen and they work maybe too well. <laughs> <gasps> I've never played this before. I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know if I uh, if I've missed half the game. I can go back, of course. What's this? What is this? Oh, I see. This is the map. This isn't confusing. It's just a bunch of squares. Okay. There's only two paths that we can take, which is right or straight. I'll I'll flank around the outside first, looking for rooms. Yep, perfect. Just in case there is one. I'll just hit myself in the face with the door. Ah, uh, this is suspicious. Why is this closet sideways? Lore! Diary of Jenny Wilder, two of two. Mummy had the key for the basement so I could hide there, but it sounded like a monster was in it. I ran the other way when I heard loud grunts coming from our basement. It was probably Mummy and Daddy. I followed some workers saying they were going to this hotel floor, so now I am here. Mummy and Daddy do not know I am here, so they must be worried. I am sleeping here for quite some time now. A nice guy named Lucas said I could hide in his hotel room, but it stinks in here like rotting meat. It is creepy here. Sometimes when Lucas is a sleeping man comes in at night and is staring at us while we sleep. I pretend I am sleeping because I do not know what he will do. He makes sounds like a very ill dog or something. Almost the same grunts as from our basement. Maybe he likes the rotting smell in this room. I am too scared to tell Lucas about him. Uh, okay. That's wrong on so many levels. Poor girl, now you have an idea of what happened to her. Yeah, I think she got eaten. And not well. I, th I think it was a messy dinner. A very messy dinner. All right. Still pushing on. Is there anything over here? No, there is nothing over here. There's been a cave-in right here. Uh, this fireplace is full of... What the hell is that in the bag? Blood, I think. Okay. So this room is just lore. I need a high vantage point so I can see if there's anything on top of these beds. No. No. It doesn't seem like that's the case, actually. I'm playing the floor is hot lava down here. Okay, looks good to me. Get up on this table next, or we could just, like, F around. Good. Nothing. No, we're good. Okay, this room is clear. 
This room is completely clear. Uh, so... That's a straight shot. I can... See that from a distance. I think that's like somebody sharpening a knife, right? I'm just looking for the walls while I sprint through here. By the way, this is how I used to look for um, enemies when I played Battlefield with a low field of view. Ooh. That looks inviting. Do we have a key for this? We have a key. Nope. <laughs> what are the odds though, right? Uh, crowbar also won't work. What about a rock? What about one of these rocks? Can I throw this rock at it? Wedge it open, maybe? That's actually really terrifying. What, the child got eaten? Or how I check uh, my corners for Battlefield? Because, you know, I was I was a force. I was a force to be reckoned with. You will never become one of us. Okay, uh, thanks for the... Thanks for the vote of confidence, dickhead. Uh, right, so we are going around in another circle, it seems. And I don't see any more rooms, necessarily, but we got to get pretty damn close to them to see them. This is the entrance. I know that for a fact. So now we need to scout the center and see if... Ooh. Door. Ah. Ah. Oh, hello, this is. Ah. Uh, don't mind me. Actually, can I get... We'll find a box or a chair, and then we'll just, like, jump over Okay, this is locked right here. Dark corridors filled with fog where it's so damn silent you can hear your heartbeat. Pretty rough, isn't it? Pretty rough indeed. Over. Oh! Progress! This door will not budge. I must break it some... Timing, man! Timing! Uh, there's a door. We could use that to jump over the uh, rude dudes who are in the corridor guarding. Let's break this. There was nothing in it. I just wanted to do it. What's this? Oil. Uh, can, oh, can we use the um, glass jar on this, maybe? Apparently so! Why we didn't take the bucket is complete news to me, but... I, I don't know, I'm not the protagonist, it seems. Uh, so now that that's... going, can I have it? Oh, I can now, good. Okay, wonderful. Uh, let's light this. Make my way downtown, beds are thrown. Not looking good, actually. There is a closet here that maybe we could soft lock ourselves into again, which is pretty... F oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I've seen this before. We have, we have to loosen this or it'll jump scare us. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. Please? Please don't fly in front of the screen when I least need it. Oh god, it's charging up its ult. It's charging up its ult. Okay, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be fine. It's not going to sandbag us in any way, shape, or form like it hasn't done in the uh, base game. Oh my god, this, this is dark. Uh, we were going to take a chair, weren't we, to get over those mannequins. Probably take two. We can get <laughs> around the other side a lot easier. Oh no, we can just lift them up. Oh, bugger. Oh, that's fine. We can put it here and jump over them if we need to. What's in here? Goodies? Lore! The worthless beings. The ones who are mentally unqualified to handle the powerful transformation will be physically restrained by design. All failed subjects that are not sensible to the regulator will turn into the stone in the end. With other words, the disobedient ones will never be a problem because they will become statues eternally. All successful transformations we now have are positioned to find the one who is insensitive to the great power of the regulator. His full name is Clyde Randall, and we must destroy him at any cost to gain world dominance. I rely on your brilliance, Dr. Jengbel. Sincerely yours, your lover, Adam Widler. Okay. I think that we are in fact Clyde. We're out of oil. No, oh, piss on this! Piss on your bucket! Bugger this! Bugger this! Suck a chair, asshole! Nah, 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 nah! 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 Blair Witchin in the corner! I don't think there was a, um, a, 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 I don't think there was a locker in here to hide him. Ugh. I'll never get tired of your conspiracy There is about a draw jump scaring you. It happens! Is your player Clyde Randall? I think so. I actually think that that's the case. I definitely agree that that is probably, in terms of the lore of this custom story, the strongest possible case that we have. 
Because you haven't turned into one of those things. Yeah, and they are harassing us. We just learned from the law that the purpose of those things is to harass the thing that everyone needs to kill. And the meme of the Amnesia custom stories and Amnesia itself is that everybody has Amnesia. <laughs> Bombshell, right? Wow, that place Theo is actually... He took ages to realize that the only place we could have gone is in that door. You think he checked the chest? He just looked in the chest like, oh, where's, where, where could he have gone if he didn't jump into this footlocker? Ha! Oh, that's a mystery to rival the legends! Thick thighs there, you dunce. Go to school! Get an education. Okay, Theo's not in here. I think we've got everything that there is to actually get in this area, so maybe we just gap it out here. Or maybe we wait for him to pass and we wait for the music to cease. No, it's not happening. We could probably also just move... We, oh, we could move the beds out and box them in, right? We could, we could just box them in. Oh, piss, I softlocked myself again. Oh, no. I, okay, we can escape. Yeah, we can box them in! Just box them in. See what happens. Okay, we'll create a safe space. No, we can't. Hello? 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 I've got some free marijuana. If you show yourself right now. Marijuana, Theodore! Your favorite form of escapism. Okay. I oh, know they call you Thirsty Theodore because of the cotton mouth. It's gotta be down here, right? There's, no, there's feasibly no other way that he could have possibly gone. Okay, we'll take this chair in case we need to throw it at him. Ah, let's go exploring the rest of this kind of center path, right? We'll see if we can get some more lore and maybe we can uh, finish sequence breaking. Right, this is the end of the path, I Oh, no, it's not actually. The hell is this? This is... weird. Why was there a cage right here? That'll completely break the game. I don't know, if we can, like, ascend him into, like, just, just god status by boxing him into the bed so he clips, he clips through the map and then flies everywhere, it just toggles clipping. I think that maybe he'll probably thank us, right, and spare us. We can, we can make the god we side with. Okay, it doesn't really look like it. Let's just gap it out of here. I think we've seen everything that there is to see in this region. Man, we are moving slow. Oh, yeah, but that's right. What's this? What is this? Uh, glass of oil. Okay, that's not going to work. What is something we can use to wedge it open? Because there's a bunch of spray with pit... I mean, holy water. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try open this door with a... Uh, Old reliable right here. <laughs> okay. Not really functioning immediately. Let's try where the hinges are not. Oh, got a little bit of movement. That's progress. Okay, I think this door is just like flat out locked. All right. We'll come back. We'll come back if we can find the hotel key. But I think we're pretty much done here for now. So let's take the next turn off to the left which should lead us back to the entrance, the entrance. Or we could go straight through the middle and look for any kind of like hidden rooms that we haven't already been in, which would not actually take us too long. And we would at least know. What's down here? Anything down here? There's a beam, a gigantic beam, a couple of gigantic beams. Oh, we could probably actually, ah, oh, we can't pick them up. Beams are really, really good to kind of like wedge doors open with. Right, nothing. I feel like we are facing the entrance that we came in from. Let's start jumping everywhere on account of there being rocks everywhere impeding our progress. Ooh. Oh. Look at that. Okay. What are you even looking for there? Uh, just anything that we could have possibly missed from a note. You know, the notes. The notes that we could have missed from, uh... <laughs> where we didn't go to get here. Uh, right, so... This way! L on C! 
And then we want to basically take a next right. Next right is the ex exit. But I just saw a door open, but it's actually just a uh, character here, Clyde, having a grunt. The hell? Isn't this where we came from? Maybe not. Oh dear. What's in here? This is where we found the crowbar. Right. By the way, that soft lock that um, we experienced, sorry, the sequence break that we experienced, it just goes to show why you should always, if you're going to create a game uh, longer than like a half an hour experience, why you should always enclose off each area to solve in its own little ecosystem. Because then everyone has to go to all of the other areas anyway. I haven't played that game, but uh, you haven't found anything useful there. We did actually find the jar of oil here. I'm not... What the hell? Oh, that was weird. I think we're done here. I think we can leave in good conscience from this area. Okay, so uh, we're going to have to actually go out the same way that we came in, which is um, down off the ramp, off the side of this balcony right here. And hopefully we'll land on something that won't break our ankles. Uh, they moved all of our boxes, which is not amazing. So we're going to have to look for a, a nice la- Oh my god, that looks horrible. Flipping texture. Gross. Whoa, this looks promising to me. Okay, we'll go over here, and I think we sprint jump onto this little- Let's, okay, we took a little bit of damage, but we didn't take nearly as much as we could have done. None of this works, right? Yeah, okay, good. So, <laughs> wonderful. I love how Toby Fox uh, turns bugs and exploits into features because he's too lazy to patch them. That's what you should be doing, honestly. You should segregate bugs and uh, glitches and then make them a feature. Not like Skyrim kind of bugs and, bugs and features, but definitely more like uh, the good one. No, doesn't work. We went into number two, didn't we? And we didn't necessarily... You know what? No, I probably couldn't jump over there, right? Uh, but this one is shorter, so... Uh, we don't have the height, but we do have this box. Maybe, 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 maybe. <laughs> Can't believe I'm actually trying this. Okay. Uh, let's rotate it a little bit. Get a little bit more height for this stupid jump that we're planning. Oh, that's so much lower than I thought it was. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. The power of God is warning you not to do something stupid. We could stack boxes to get up there. We there are actually enough boxes here for us to do so. What is that ambient noise? That is so strange. Where haven't we been? Because we've been in one, we've been in two. What have we? Have we been in two? We got mementos. The gate on level two is locked! Right, so we haven't been to two, but we do have oil now. I think we've got a spear key. However, I think we may have a spear key. Wait, wasn't this supposed to be locked? This was supposed to be locked. We've got a memento saying it's locked. It suddenly turned into Minecraft gameplay. Oh, that's right. No, we couldn't get through here. Could we? We couldn't get through here uh, because this was, in fact, locked. And we've got this tiny little key right here, which is not for this. Oil doesn't work either. Ah, ploppers. Okay. Right. So... We could probably wedge it open with this barrel if we just, like... No, we couldn't actually. We definitely couldn't do that. We're out of oil, and I think we're out of clues now as well. Uh, back into mementos. Right, the gate in level 2 is locked. A very strong lock with a broken key, and it is securing... What if we use the oil on the padlock that goes upstairs in the crowbar? We use the crowbar in its own little area. We use the crowbar in its own little area, and unfortunately it broke as soon as we used it on the door that we were supposed to open with it. I think that if we maybe use the oil on the padlock here, maybe we can like fish the, the key up? No. Okay, we can't use any of those. 
Right! Which is why I was thinking that maybe we missed something up in the hotel area. Because it is a huge dark area and I was looking for something forward. I didn't try the cold chisel down here though. I don't think I tried the, um, the cold chisel and hammer. Definitely gonna try that next, I think. I thought maybe if we oiled it, then maybe we could just like unlatch it normally, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Excuse me, sir. All right, let's try this on the... No. Okay, that definitely doesn't work. What if we try it on the gate itself? Nothing. Key on the gate itself? Nothing. Key on the oil? Nothing. Uh, oil on the this? Nothing. Okay, what if we oil ourselves up? Nothing. Uh, what if we drink the oil? No? Okay, sure. Right, okay, so we're in a weird place now because we have technically finished off the hotel area. We have technically finished it off. But we aren't supposed to have accessed it yet and we can't access two, which means by process of elimination, and we also can't access the uh, top level up there, we have to have missed something at one. At the one level. Which, oh no, is above here. Now, nothing spawned in here when we finished this kind of weird candle sequence, did it? I don't think so. I don't think anything spawned in here. Doesn't look like it, no. There's no key or anything like that. Okay. My neuros just died writing that comment and it didn't send. Oh no, I hope YouTube fixes that soon. Um, That little bug that chat's having. Because it does seem like it's frustrating some people. Scott had it earlier. Scott had the issue where his uh, messages weren't sending. I have no idea why. And this is like some kind of bug with the new up. Uh, it was weird. Do we ransack this place? I'm pretty sure we absolutely ransack this place, right? It seems to, I think it's got something to do with kind of like the, um, the moderation. Oh, that's right, this little door. This cute little door. Well, that's a tiny little key. And another key. Picked up the level two gate key. Oh, come off it! No, that's exactly where we want to go. That's exactly where we want to go. So we should have everything that we need now. I think down in the mine, we are going to find the access to the hotel, but we aren't going to need it. What were you sending me? Um, I do have like auto moderation settings on. I might turn them off because I haven't actually had anybody be a problem child in chat for, well, since I started streaming actually, which is pretty nice. All of my problem children have all arisen from Twitch. <laughs> Which is, I, I don't really like Twitch anymore. It's like, I started on that platform and now I just will not use it again just because of its culture. YouTube is so much more supportive and I tend to like the uh, people on here a lot more. Uh, this is not. <laughs> ah, die first, Dad! Why? Can we get some spec? Can we get some Spanish in chat? Everything is going wrong. Also, a little girl screamed. So you're supposed to tell me. I saw that, by the way. I saw the penis. On that model, you're supposed to tell me that that was that small child. Okay, well, we don't have any oil, so we don't have a choice but to go in here and just, like, uh... Kind of walk around in the dark a little bit. Is that a body? No, it's not. Oh! 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 And I found it without Spanish! Oh, yes! Okay, we've got light. Anything behind here? No. Good, so we don't have to walk around the dark for much longer, I don't think. Good, 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 good. Wonderful. I'm still gonna flashbang because it does seem like oil is becoming increasingly more sparing. Let's go down here first with all the green light. Or not. Let's uh, actually get away from that because it looks terrifying and I don't want to deal with that right now. Wow, the game's really trying to get me to go down there, huh? What's down here? Uh, not seeing a hell of a lot. There's a door here. Well, this place is absolutely enormous. This is bigger than the maze. I sent a Spanish message, but it didn't send. It sent. It sent. It sent. I, I don't know what it would have sent, but it definitely sent. It definitely sent. 
Because otherwise we wouldn't have found that entire oil refill. Spanish just seems to be um, the word of the gods around here. What the hell? Oh, excuse me, door. Just need to hop in here real quick. Taking this explosive liquid and I'm picking up this tinderbox and I'm gonna hide here. We're one with the crates. 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 We're one with the bookshelf. We're one with the bookshelf. One with the bookshelf. One with the bookshelf. Deal, Silvanos? Is it like good luck? I don't speak a lot of Spanish, but I can interpret it, it from uh, context. I can interpret a lot of languages from context. It's got a lot of roots with Latin, doesn't it? I speak a little bit of Latin. Okay. We don't have a choice but to continue Blair Witching in the corner! God save us? Okay. <laughs> Dios mio! <sighs> Oh my god, did it work? The Spanish came through again! Man, this sucks. This sucks for him. This sucks for him so bad. I bet we could even like smash this thing with a plank and he still won't come. Oh, Spanish is the savior. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, so do I. That's not a song, isn't it? Never gonna give you up. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Oh, were we supposed to hide in here or something? I think we may have been supposed to hide in here with the potatoes. There's a chest here. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna make you toast. I forgot the rest of the words to the song, by the way. Okay, what's in here? Oh, thank the Lord, nothing. Can we cold chisel it down? No, good. Can we explosive liquid it? Explosive liquid? Why the hell do we need explosive liquid? That's so extra. Oh! Okay. Okay. The lock. Oh, it's explosive though? Come on, that's overkill. That is so overkill. I thought it meant like a corrosive liquid or something like that. Not a literal bomb. Okay, we can't clear it. Uh, we also have oil for days, which is just fantastic. I love this. We're in a really good spot right now. The lock to level four. Yeah, 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 yeah. But again, a bomb. A bomb. I could have probably just... Ugh. We could probably just leave this area and come back later, I think. We don't need to be here. We don't need to be here right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna exercise my right to cower. Okay, what's back here? Anything back here? We got a uh, a nice bricked up wall. And no passage to that horrible green room, which is oh never mind, I take that back. Okay, what's in here? Nothing. Can we blow it open with this explosive? No. Why didn't I try the cold chisel first? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, can't go down there because of dark forces. Probably need to blow this altar up, right? I unalived a chicken with an iron warhammer on Skyrim. My standards of overkill are special. I don't think I've played a playthrough where I haven't given Lydia the giant's club. What the hell? This is just a bigger cold chisel. Blutsky! Oh no. Well, good thing we've got this explosive, huh? That was a cool effect. Haven't seen that one before. What was that like motion blur, screen shake, and kind of like a, a giant field of view increase? That was awesome. I love that. Okay, what are we here? What are we here? Okay, good. Can we go down this one? What the hell? What the? Uh. uh okay. No, can't go in that one. Do we have to go down the ones with the lit path, maybe? Yes, that does actually appear to be exactly. Oh no, we're about to be attacked. Oh, we're about to be attacked. Oh no. What the hell? What the hell is this? <laughs> maybe this is one of those memory sequences, right? Because we've had a couple of these. That's sus as hell. It is, isn't it? 
Okay, pushing up. Nope. Did I just get punished? I think I just got punished. Okie dokie! Which way next? Which nice nightmare land of, of poppycock are we going to next? This one? I see something at the end of here. Okay, we can't open that. Can't even, like, shift the door. Very heavy. Nothing here. I think we just went down that one. No, we definitely didn't. Are things changing? Is everything changing? Oh, oh my god, that scared me. The door opening actually scared me. I think it was one of those little memory sequences, or one of those insanity sequences. Okay, we're back to the realms of the living, it seems. Why didn't this one open? Come on! <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Why do they have technology to secure an entire hotel and water pumps, but they just light the hotel with torches and you have to use a goddamn oil lantern instead of just a flashlight? It is technically 1880. Flashlights are very new technology. Experimental technology. Oh, uh, when... I don't even know when the first battery was invented. It wasn't until, like, the 1900s. The first cell battery was invented. I've got no idea. It was well past the time of, uh, of what's his face? Um, Franklin. Well past his time. Okay. Music! I hope it's copyright free. Where the hell am I? Storage. Have I been here? Oh, right, yes, this is where we found the explosive compound, and I definitely smashed that. That's how I know I was here. Oh, up here. Buddies? Nope. <laughs> Just fall damage, okay. Nothing in there. That's where we were supposed to hide last time we came in here. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, and we were going this way, weren't we? 1800? Is that the first battery? Wow, is that the first battery? Good grief. It had to have been, like, the size of a horse cart, though, right? Okay, can't go that way. I think we just have to skirt around till we find the exit. I think we've pretty much polished off everything in this area. Gotta be said, right? Probably polished it all off. 1800, that's absolutely insane. It can't have been Franklin, right? It wasn't Franklin, surely. I'm pretty confident of that. It was someone else, I'm pretty sure, that invented the first battery. And I'm also fairly certain that it looked like absolute ass, and it was uh, pretty dysfunctional too. Like it had a very, very low power draw. Wait, are we just going in circles? Oh no, we may be. That's not good. Okay, let's try down here. I think this is where we went down last time. Oh, that's right, that was uh, blocked off, wasn't it? And that is shut. Dark forces are preventing me from going here. Okay, or maybe it's cowardice. Cowardice is kind of like a dark force, isn't it? Right, let's put away our lamp, because there's nothing new here. Nihil Noe, as they used to say. Okay, let's try this way next. I think this is the way. Unless it's like around this corner here. No, I'm definitely getting deja vu. That was the potato sack place. Weird. It was called Volta and the battery was like 30 centimeters tall and 10 centimeters wide. Yeah, I knew it. The first things are usually never the best. Like the first iPhone kind of sucked. Gotta be said. First iPhone was not amazing. The future iPhones were really, really intuitive and easy to use, but first iPhone, not, not great by my standards. I uh, much prefer to have like a little $20 phone instead of a, an iPhone. Little $20 phone with a keyboard that like flipped up. It was so cool. So cool. Love that phone so much. It's 20 bucks too. It had decent power output. Oh, if you touch it, you get shocked. Ah, uh, that's not good, is it? Oh, when did, when was rubber invented? Because rubber was like the, um, the preventative for getting electric shocks, wasn't it? Rubber insoles in your boots and such. Uh, we're lost, by the way. There doesn't appear to be a, an exit. There is music. Looks kind of familiar. And nothing here. Uh, we've been down there. This is already locked. I'm lost. I'm actually lost. We've been kind of flanking around the outskirts for a wee while now, and we can't leave. Maybe it's because of that dark force. You aren't going to believe me? What, the invention of rubber? It's got to be, like, quite late, right? Like, 1940s, 50s, maybe? Because across World War II, people were still using socks as condoms. Why would they not... Why would rubber not be used for that immediately? 
I suppose the toilet plunger came pretty early. That was made of rubber. Or styrofoam. I don't know. I don't know what the first toilet plunger was made of. Dark forces preventing me from going here. What if I go backwards? No. Okay, so we've got to have something to do with this altar room in the middle, right? Rubber was first used by the Omelk civilization in 1600 BC. Jesus. No. Uh, you're right, I am struggling to believe that. I'm really struggling to believe that. And Volta didn't think to put his battery in an encasing of rubber. That just seems really short-sighted. Right, that, that just sounds like he was maliciously trying to get his superiors shocked. Maybe they didn't believe him or something. Oh, we've got this uh, flux key, don't we? Okay, Dark Forces, we're the essence of creating this object. I think Dark Force preventing you goes in this way. Maybe we try the flux on it. This, this flux key. Sorry, my tea light candle just went out and my uh, camera's getting all smoky. I was just making sure that uh, it didn't look like the house was on fire or something like that. Okay, coming around. We'll go back to that same place that we went down a bunch of times down here. Synthetic rubble was created in 1909. Yeah, that's that's a lot more similar to what I understand. Dark Force. Okay, flux chisel. Cannot use the item. Seriously? What if we blow the Dark Force up? No, doesn't work. Okie dokie! Doesn't function. I don't know what just happened with my eyes, but it wasn't good. We're stuck here. We're absolutely stuck here. Emerald's chisel? No. Explosive compound? No. Flux key? No. Okay. Right. So, the only th thing I can think of to try now... Sorry, my finger came off the keyboard and I was wondering why I stopped moving. Only thing I can think of now is to just, like, try every locked door around here... For some kind of, some kind of, any kind of item. Because that's all we've got so far is items. Synthetic rubber, actually, if that was created as late as 1909, kind of makes sense while um, everyone was still using socks for condoms. Uh, blow it? No. Uh, oil? No. Uh, okay. We've got oil. We'll put it in our lantern just to save the inventory space. We've also got laudanum which we don't need to take just yet. Do we need to mix anything? No. What if we put the flex key in explosives? No. What if we oil it up? No, okay. So we're lost, basically. We don't know how to get out of this area, hilariously. Ooh, brick. Well, if we come across any enemies, we will be able to uh, knock them back pretty substantially with this bad boy. I've been hit in the face with a brick before. It hurts. It is not nice. It is very unpleasant. I would probably give it like a 2 out of 10 experience. Like obviously there are worse experiences in the world, but being hit in the face with a brick, not one of my major... No, I'm not fond of it. I'm not fond of that experience. Okie dokie. I'm lost. I'm actually completely lost. I think the dark force blocking off our egress is kind of keeping us here, right? This here? This is where we were supposed to be going? Okay, let's check out mementos. This place will be my death if I don't, do not get rid of these rocks somehow. I don't know what the hell you were talking about, my dude. I don't know when I wrote that. Absolutely no idea. Can't imagine what situation you could have possibly been in which you were hit in the face with a brick. Uh, yeah, I was a kid. I was a kid and I was running in between um, two, two masons, basically building a uh, fence. It was an unfortunate consequence and couldn't really have been avoided since health and safety regulations only really came about after the year, like, 2000 and four I'd say probably they were enforced about 2004 I took it on the uh, nose when I was like eight years old it shows my age huh I'm 30 this year crazy uh, still not seeing the exit this place is actually harder to disengage with than the last one we were in what if we just like try and bust this one open oh it's kind of working the brick has a, a good amount of torque to it what if we use the explosive here no Lux key? No. So this is where I thought that maybe we would use the explosives, but there appears to be somewhere else where we're going to have to use it, unfortunately, it seems. I didn't think we would have to use the, um, we, we would have to use the explosives on the lock. That is such overkill. We'll have to use it on like a cave in somewhere. Maybe here? Maybe here? Uh, right here, maybe? Oh, yes! Run! No! What 
are the odds that was actually the answer? Now I know how to make gunpowder. That's not a good combination. <laughs> Almost set fire to my grandma's backyard when I was a kid. Uh, we had a neighbor that set fire to backyards when I was a kid. We'll take some drugs. We'll take some drugs before we go in there with our trusty brick. Um, we had a, a neighbor who literally had an old timey World War II flammenwerfer from the Second World War, and she used it to. Oh, hello there. She used it to blast the uh, weeds off of her driveway. I just picked up a rock. What the hell is this? Is that the reward for breaking the sequence? I'll take it. Thank you. Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this. No, 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 Sam, I am. I do not like gre green eggs and whatever this is spamming. That sounded so much better on my head. Goodbye, Brick! You're an admirable companion. I hope someone else loves you as much as I did. Maybe it is something for the Dark Forces. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gunpowder is not really one of those things people should know how to make. Unless, like... Unless they want to prepare themselves for kind of like the apocalypse. That's the only instance I can really think of where gunpowder would be good. Or if you make your own ammunition. Um, I've been to the pistol clubs around where I live and a lot of people there press their own ammo. And that is a hard thing to do in New Zealand where guns are massively regulated. Um, there's only like a few hundred people in the country that are licensed to carry a handgun under something called a, a collector's... No. D-Class license, I think. Collector's license is C-Class. So it's actually easier to get a collector's license than it is to get a license for a concealed firearm here in New Zealand. Crazy. Crazy regulated here. I think it's even harder to get it in Japan. All right, let's try and use the flux key on this here lock. No, doesn't work. How about whatever the hell this is? What the hell is this? It doesn't have any explanation or description. Ah. Black Security Systems, Hotel Grand Prestige Level 3. The Dark Forces were the essence of creating this object. Gotcha, so now we have to go into the hotel that we've already brute forced through. Chemically speaking, you make gunpowder out of soil fertilizers. Yeah, that's what um, Germany did across World War II when... No! What did they? Because I know that there was a German scientist who invented potassium nitrate, the fertilizer. Uh, I think his name is Johann Fritz, not sure about the first name, no his last name is definitely Fritz. And he's kind of a paradox, because on the one hand he led to the deaths of uh, hundreds of thousands of people through the means of explosives, and on the other hand, the entire world would not have grown back without potassium nitrate as a fertilizer. So it's, it's kind of hard to, to tell where, where people stand on that one. It's not here, we need to go into number three, don't we, for this flux key. World War II is actually a pretty crazy rabbit hole to dive into if you're looking into explosives and chemical engineering. There was an instance where Germany was collecting seagull feces off of an island uh, very close to the English coast uh, to make their own explosives with. And eventually the English caught onto this and they blocked off that one, which led to the invention of potassium nitrate. Is this open in the gate? No. What about this? No. What the hell is this? What is this yellow thing? The imprint reads, Flux Security Systems, Hotel Grand Prestige, Level 3. I'm at Level 3! Dark Forces, we're the essence of creating this object. Right, okay, and this one just does not have a description. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, over here? How the hell would anyone have figured out that this was actually a PlayStation thing? Okay, obviously we can go through this gate now. But why do we need to? Why do we need to be here? We've got everything. We don't need to be here. What if we fix these? No, nothing. Right. Right. So, well, that candle actually scared me. Uh, maybe there is something in here that we could have potentially missed. Imagine being expelled off the art class and just conquer Poland. Yeah, I know, right? Honestly, like World War I, it sucks. It sucks if you ever actually read about how Germany got into that position in the first place because they got dealt a really, really bad hand and the entire world gaslit them into uh, paying reparations for a war that wasn't even committed against them. They were supporting an ally that the war was committed against. Um, Serbia had assassinated Pope... No, not Pope. 
uh, Franz Ferdinand II, who was kind of like the nephew of the um, the guy who ran the Hungarian Austro-Hungarian Empire. Uh, they got a real bad deal. The uh, uh, nephew of this guy was assassinated. Germany basically stood in and said to their ally, hey, if, if you want to go press charges through military force, we'll fully support you in this. They did. Russia got involved. Russia forced France to get involved. And then Germany ended up having to pay the tab for Serbia, Serbia having um, assassinated Austria's thing, because they lost. And then the Switzerland that never did anything and never suffered anything, yeah. And then there's Italy that did everything. They were on both sides of World War II, hilariously. They couldn't pick a side. I think they kind of warmed up to the idea of not being um, part of the whole uh, Holocaust thing, which is a good shout. That is a, a really, really good shout. There's got to be something here that we missed, right? Up in this, up in this area here. Because we, I thought we basically 100% cleared it out, but it seems as though there is actually more. The stone ones are watching me. Wait a minute. This wasn't open before. Ah, so they did put some sequence breaking safeguards in, in place. Okay, there's Alexander of Brandenburg's melted face right there. There's some lore in here. Great. Diary of Gregory, 27th of June, 1840. We had to hide Clyde because Wilder wanted him dead. Wilder is a powerful man, but Clyde is resistant to his machine. The Regulator. We have never seen Wilder in person, but we see him in our minds all day. He penetrates our thoughts when we sleep. Clyde is the only one that can save us. So when we have hidden him behind the wall, managing a hotel gives you the privilege of knowing secret places, of course. So far, this location is the best for this moment, simply because Wildler does not come here very often. I must tell others about the wood stove secret in this room, but who can I trust enough to tell? Ho ho ho! Spicy, spicy! Oh, well, I wonder what it does, huh? I really wonder what it does. Oh, it has to go up, right? Nice! Secrets! There's a hot year, the 1945 of them. Yeah, I know. It, like, they devolved into absolute degeneracy eventually. Germany did, of course. Uh, but they got dealt a real bad hand initially. Gotta be said. Gotta be said. Uh, the First World War, sh they shouldn't have even been a part of. In fact, no one should have been a part of it. Ooh. Wow. Okay. But this is me. Im impossible. How can I be dead? Okay. Well, let's test that theory out, huh? Let's test that theory out. Maybe there's something we can put in this bum. Maybe this key? Maybe we can put this uh, key up his bum? My very last words. That bastard did it, he finally destroyed me. I have been hidden pretty well by the workers who trusted in my ability to reject the nightmares. Unfortunately, this did not hold back the wicked plans of Whitler. He basically poisoned the water provided on the hotel floor, figuring I need to eat and drink like any other mortal. The, other, the most ironic thing of all is that I found the key to the lab where they made the substance. Merely hours before I got poisoned, I discovered what is killing me now. And it is just some acid to melt metal called Whaler's Tonic. I think that's supposed to be kind of like a throwback to Amnesia the Dark Descent, but it's Johann Weyer, not Whaler. That is why I saw no danger in it, if only I knew better. I was supposed to be their saviour, their redeemer, the one that was resistant to the tyranny of the Whittler, but I failed. The regulator must be stopped at any cost. This machine could destroy the world as we know it. It is still not too late as I sense this machine is not at its full potential. So whoever reads this, please do anything in your power to stop Adam Whittler and his machine. At first I wanted to escape this place, but then I understood my colleagues were not responsible for their mental instability. All hope for me is lost as I can only exist in the afterlife now. I wish I could assist my fellow man on the other side. Well, who knows what the meant to be a redeemer is capable of. My very last words with regards, Clyde Randall, called it! We were Clyde, we were Clyde all along. We all called that, didn't we? Poor Japan. Yeah, uh, yeah, poor Japan as well. Well, poor Japan-ish. Because Japan was an imperial association first, and then after World War II, they became what they are now, which is globally recognized as being kind of like everybody's uptight, but very kind uncle. That's, that's Japan at this point. This makes no sense. What are you then? Theory confirmed. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, we are. We're Clyde Randall. We're Clyde Randall. It was called, uh, we're going to take this uh, chair and we're going to treat ourselves to a nice, uh, a nice buggering, I suppose we could say. We're going to take this chair and slip it right up our booty, I think. 
Just a nice little, little, uh, wow. We have a tight butt. Uh, I mean, that's like the male fantasy, isn't it? To, to have, have uh, the, the relations with yourself. Maybe this one will go up his bum. It's heavier. No, it does not. None of them go up his bum. We can't deface our own corpse, which is not illegal. <laughs> Face says it all. <laughs> okay, sorry, I was too busy laughing at my own uh, bum joke to have run into the, the wall. Okay, we're here now. We've got this key, hotel laboratory. This should unlock the door to the lab where they invented the acid that killed me. Hotel laboratory. Is that back? I think that may actually be back. I don't think that is in here. I think that may be a locked door inside of the hotel itself, inside of the hotel proper. Oh God, now we have to find the goddamn exit again. Okay, let's try it this way. We found it. Wow, that was very quick. Was there Spanish incoming? I feel like there was Spanish incoming, but for us to have solved it that quickly. Uh, all right, so we're back in the hotel. Then we gotta find a locked door, which I don't think we actually found, did we? Dude, your psychologist went mad treating you with therapy. My psychologist gave up. <laughs> gave up. He said nothing can be done. Nothing can be done. Dehiko, si? Echo? Echo? Si? I know si. I know si. That's a, that, that's a common one. A, a, a D is the, right? I don't know what Hiko is. Okay, so where the hell is the laboratory? Why hasn't anyone hidden a uh, door in like a closet or something? It makes so much sense to do once you realize it's thing. C means yes, yes. Yes, C, C, I understand. C, senor. Okay, what's in here? Is this locked? No, it's not locked. None of this is locked. All of this is open thoroughfare. Why doesn't this go anywhere? Weird. Strange. All right. It is a bit more complicated, and I'll not explain it because this is not a Spanish lesson. This is a cult. Yeah, this is a cult. Okay, uh, we're going the wrong way. This is a cult. Uh, we're all mortals here. The bugs and drugs cult. Well, we got laudanum. We got laudanum for days. Okay, if both those go upstairs, then chances are this goes down. Yep, that's exactly right. Wait, if that's not open, then that's got to be where the lab is, right? The lab's got to be on the other side of these staircases. Just down a wee bit. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, I'll go and check the first floor first. Don't know where this lab is. I know it's supposed to be in here. And we're going to find acid in there, obviously, as well. Okay, that is... Probably an excessive amount of security, to be honest. It's not over here, is it? It's not behind this. This is weird. This is really weird. No, it's not. That candle's just misplaced. Okay, gotcha. Uh... Oh, there's a screwdriver here. Great. We'll take this with us. Maybe we'll fix ourselves some, uh... Some progress. But it doesn't really look like it, does it? Okay. Maybe it is in the top floor. Because I do remember that there are locked doors upstairs from here still. I just didn't think any of them were necessary to explore. But if we have to, we have to. If we have to, we have to. Sleep? What sleep? I'm a gamer. I don't sleep, I game. Yep, I've heard that one a bunch. Um, sleep is necessary, though. I realized as a gamer that I play games a lot better when I sleep. I also am old now and can't get away with not sleeping. Right. So, we'll go into the next area again. We've got a lot of oil on us. So, I think we probably could make a good effort in searching, but we may not actually find anything useful. I've seen even slower progress, Grames. This one is pretty slow. I'm not going to lie. Solutions in this one are, are kind of obscure. And now we've got an item that doesn't even have a description. I don't even know if we're supposed to have it. I just found it in a bush somewhere, I think. Okay, can't go that way. What's down here? I think this is going to be the instance where we open every single door. Nope, not in there. If it opens, it's not locked. That's the thing. Uh, we'll skirt all around the outside. Whoops. That actually spooked me really quickly. I forgot that that was a thing. 
and hopefully we will find our quarrel quickly. What's this? Map. Okay. Don't particularly care about that too much. Nope. Nothing in there. Nothing in here. Right. So, still looking around. Dead end. I don't remember that. Maybe because when we were in here, we didn't have a lamp. Kind of funny, actually. Most of them are mods like Minecraft, better than Wolves or Terraria, Cal Calamity and Furnum. But other like Dark Souls or Sick or even Skyrim are really slow progression games. I wouldn't agree that they are slow progression games. I think that they're slow progress games in terms of like total completion. But you can beat Skyrim really fast, like really fast. You can just sprint straight to the objectives. If you've played it once, you don't necessarily need to go and uh, listen to all of the lore. So that's like two thirds of the game cut down pretty quickly. And combat is pretty trivial once you get the hang of that too. Uh, nothing in here per se. Let's go along here, see if there's any locked doors. We haven't seen any other locked doors, have we? We haven't seen any labs. Unless the lab is literally the fourth floor and this game is juking us. Uh, nothing in here. This is where we found something else that thought Theo attacked us in there. What's down here? There are lit braziers here. Don't know what this is. Oh, this is locked. So this must be the lab. Yes! Great. Hit myself in the face with the door. That's not very nice. Close this in case we get attacked. And... Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here for us to break. Let's do that right this second. Azultav! Good. And I'll throw that away. Excellent. What's in here? Nothing. 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 Thank you for rewarding the explorer in me, I guess. Oh. I don't know why, but I feel like this ball thing goes in here. Do not use the item in this way. Okay. I feel like the glass jar goes here. No. Can't use the item in this way. Right. So that's not useful whatsoever. That's just a pipette, it seems. Lab report. 24th of July, 1840 by Dr. Moses Yingle. We finally created the Weyers. Yeah, Weyers. Johan Weyer. I know Weyer. I'm an esotericist. I, I look up demonology, demonocracy, and occultism for fun. I know Johan Weyer. Adam Wiedler will be proud of us. This will destroy Clyde Randall for sure. The only thing he needs to do is drink water. Even if he finds out, he will never suspect a missile melting substance it actually meant for his death. The unfortunate side effect is that this will destroy most of our good test subjects and other workers that stay here. Also, Vidler's annoying daughter is still snooping around here for some reason. But we have to do this. Luckily, I came in possession of another acid-resistant glass jar so I can easily transport it to the water supply. We will hide all the victims behind some rocks in the hotel rooms before anyone will ever find out. Hopefully, it will not wreak too much of corpses on the workers section of the hotel after hiding them. Right, so that's why that room smelled of corpses. Uh, let's grab some of this acid. Very obviously have to do that. What's in here? Anything fun? Can we touch this? Can we put our head in here? No, probably not. <laughs> Alright, great. Coming out of here. Probably gonna get attacked. I'm, I'm feeling an attack coming. We're in the long grass at, at this point. I'm not gonna waste oil. We're just literally looking for the exit and we know exactly where it is. We just hug this wall. Uh, we will find it. Okay, more of the uh, knife sharpening skills, it seems. Let's just hug this corner here and we'll see if we can't find it on our right. Now you can melt the lock with the acid. I had a hunch. He did say that it was uh, like metal melting acid, right? Or we could just melt the entire door. Mark this! Well, that wasn't the exit, so luckily we don't have to go in there. Just, it was just a nasty jump scare. For the sake of nasty jump scares. Thank you, game! Grumpy. Big old grumpy. What the hell? Where's the exit? Uh, whoa, what the hell is this? Oh, I know this. We're actually really close to the entrance. It's just around this corner here. Because we just stumbled upon that, right? With the help of a little bit of Spanish? Nope, I'm there. I'm there. Oh, we don't have a choice but to go in there. Okay, we must have gone here. Oh, no, that's a map. Okay, where does the map exit? Okay. This way, right, left, should be good. That should be it. This way, right, left, or it's down this hallway. Nope, don't think it's down that hallway. The Buenas, yes, yes, I fully can, oh, I We will guide you towards the truth. Uh, can I, uh, 
Oh! Oh dear! Oh my dear! Oh no! Oh no, this is not good. We could just find a chip. Brick? Oh, we can't pick it up. I was thinking if we stuck it on its end, we could probably just jump over the... the statues. Would probably work. So many ways to open a lock and the game makes you travel kilometers in the same damn place to find acid. I know, right? It should... It's definitely not that hard to find acid where I live. Like, you can find it basically on any street corner. Hello, sirs. Just got your pizzles out. Just here on the mouth. That's fine. Okay. Moving on. I'm just going to follow them. Honestly, it, I... They probably know best, right? I'm coming in. Hello? What are we doing in here? Oh, we're going to go find the rotting corpses. Oh. Oh. Holy hell. These are the poisoned workers. How poisoned, though? Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, how poisonous is this? It doesn't seem that poisonous to me. I am literally kneeling in it, in the gore and viscera that is acid, and I'm fine. Okay. Watch me here. Watch me here. Uh, we should be able to leave now, right? Hopefully- Oh, we have to find the goddamn exit again. What's in here? Anything yet? No, nothing. Okay. Well, that's plain gross. Yeah, I know it is, isn't it? Kneeling in the- Kneeling in the- Oh my god! No! No! Not like this! No, no, no! Am I being chased? Am I being chased? This music has no chill. Oh, piss off! Piss off! I'm closing it. Alright, which way? Uh, I'm gonna go- Ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, okay. Well, I was gonna hide in the foot locker, but we're just gonna go into our normal exploit room, I think. Okay, let's close this. Hey, this is nice and relaxing. This isn't broke. I definitely broke that. I don't leave these standing. I know it's a bad time now, but I'm bound by principle right now to break this. <sighs> you believe that? You believe that? Can you believe this world that we are currently in? Is he here? Is he actually here? Is he haunting us? Doubt it. Doubt it. Doubt it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no. He's literally right outside this door. Do we go around him? Is it just one find out? Okay. Okay. Okay, there's one way to find out. Bravery! 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 Nice! I saved up that Spanish that you gave me for this. Nice. We did it. Okay. Oh my god! Nestre que que estas en el celo. Okay, that was unexpected. I know it was. It was really unexpected, wasn't it? I think we have to kind of uh, keep on doing this, right? We're probably going to be attacked a bunch of different times. Yep, here we go. Here he goes. He's trying to attack us. All right, so he spawns in front of us. We need to keep that in mind. Ooh, a Spanish prayer. It, it, it was not a good one. I think you need to say it with a little bit more gusto next time. Ah, uh, ploppers! Okay, he definitely sees us. He's gonna run at us, right? He's gonna run at us. I'm gonna b-hop around here. Good, excellent, actually, almost excellent. Let's go ahead and use some laudanum because I think we're down. Ah, oh, we can't. We need a sanity potion. Let's use a sanity potion for the first time in this channel's history, and we'll run. We're run. We're sprinting. We go. We go. We go. We're gapping it. We're gapping it. We're gapping it. We're gapping it. We're out of oil. Oh, that's not good. 
Yeah, we're completely out of oil. Oh no. That was such an inopportune time. Yes! 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 Oh, what does that Spanish prayer mean? Is it actually a good one or did I just get really, really unlucky and roll like a, like a, a charisma snake eyes or something like that? I feel like I rolled a charisma snake eyes. The Spanish has done us so well, I wouldn't blaspheme by, by saying that, uh, that the Spanish caused that jump scare. That, that, that just wouldn't be fair, would it? It wouldn't be fair. Wouldn't be fair. Okay, uh, we'll come down here. We're actually moving really, really fast. I think that attack just gave us heaps and heaps of firecrackers right up our bum bum to kind of egg us on to, to running really, really, really fast. Wonderful. Also, that last jump scare was pretty much the final... <laughs> the final straw of my voice. Oh, that poor thing. I need to, like, sit back and take a quick drink. It's like calling for God's protection. God clearly was not in that room with us. He was clearly not up there. Or she. Who am I to judge? You think so? Did you see what was up there? I don't think God would have sanctioned that. Is still the fourth floor? Yes. Okay. We'll go up and we'll see if, uh, if we can't meet the almighty him or herself. Itself. Itself. Well, we've got oil. Excellent. <coughs> okay. Now do a couple of little mental warm-ups, I think, to, to kind of get in the zone for a, for a final boss battle, I think. This was a scary mod, actually. This is probably the scariest one that we've found so far. A big ups to Scott's world for having actually found us. Ooh. Newspaper headline. Earthquake mystery. Earthquake remains mystery. Wow. Reykjavik, Iceland, November 4th, 1840. On October the 21th, a loud... <laughs> open and hard. A loud rumble was heard from the far north of Iceland. Considering it was an earthquake, the rumbling still s remains a great mystery. The famous vault project that was stationed close to where the apparent earthquake came from had not reported to any exterior laboratory ever since. This worries the lab technicians outside the project because a daily progress report was confirmed every day. Due to the secrecy of the project, aid organizations are having trouble locating the position of the possible catastrophic scene. Widler Constructions claimed the fame after starting the revolutionary vault project in 1796. It involved more than 150 volunteers provided the opportunity to live and work there. Later, Widler reclaimed the fame by stating that an ancient temple with mystic powers was the reason he built the vault project on that specific location. Why no details about this temple were ever revealed also remains another mystery that inhabits this project all over. I've been Jensen, this has been the Reykjavik News Tabloid. I am your town crier for the evening. <laughs> oh, back in the 1800s, because they, they didn't have TVs. Uh, we probably want to take a brick with us, right? No, maybe not. Okay, no defense, we take a barrel, but they'll just slow us down. Why did you turn me? Oh, it's locked now too. That's weird. Oh, piss! Oh no! 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 Not here! Not here! Not here! I'm not dying here! I'm not dying here! Not dying here! It's not happening! It's not happening! I don't know what's happening with the lorry anymore. I lost track of the sense of these notes have. That tends to happen with long um, custom stories, I think. I think the developers wanted to make a scary experience so bad that a lot of the continuity of the uh, Amnesia custom stories kind of gets a little bit diminished over time. But still, overall, pretty solid. I think with the lore so far, that they're kind of like trying to touch on Penumbra, essentially. I think they're trying to uh, do a little fedora tilt milady to Penumbra. The games the three games that came before oh okay amnesia oh amnesia the dark descent thick thighs theo has just had his uh legs his thick thighs and both of his arms blown off that absolutely sucks okay we'll take him with us come on theo how you doing Ah, I did a backflip i could have done a theo flip actually you think i could do a, a theo flip with this sorry theo just uh, need to get him in position. And... Theo flip! Oh, so close! It's okay, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. 
We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. And... Jensen the Undying. I can't die. It doesn't happen. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, so close. Theo flip. Theo flip. Oh, so close. That's okay. We'll get this. We'll get this. We'll get this. Theo flip. Ah, oh, so close. We'll get him. We'll get him. We'll get him. Why is he hanging upside down? That's not Theo like. And Theo flip. Oh, he needs to stand up on his pelvis. On his thick ass thighs. Theo flip. Oh, that one looked cool too. Maybe I'm like, maybe I'm I'm throwing him too hard, right? Theo flip. Oh, I am throwing him too hard. I'm getting the technique down just right soon. We gotta grab his teeth, right? Then we gotta kind of boom. Oh, so close. Two and a half hours later. <laughs> maybe. Theo flip. That was way too hard of an angle. I think I threw him a little bit too hard. We will get this. We will get this. We will get this. Theo flip. Oh, that was so close. And Theo flip. Oh, that was just a face plant. Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Theo flip. Yes! Da -da 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 you did it, buddy. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Stay here and take this barrel. Um, we will go through here now. I'm kind of weird that it's so dark beneath the lamps here, but I suppose it is what it is. The monsters are waiting there, just watching you play with one of their members. One of their dis-members. <laughs> oh, thank god we got the high quality version, right? Probably wouldn't have been able to do a Theo flip with that one. We didn't get the high quality version. Ow, my fa- oh, come on, door. Right! I think they should run away from you. Oh, yes. I'm not stuck in here with you! You're stuck in here with me! Memes. Good old Rorschach meme. I wonder what that's from. I remember it earliest from Watchmen. Ah, oh, Rorschach is like the best superhero ever. Always been my favorite, always been my favorite. Where the hell are we? Why am I not questioning the giant piss of Tartarus beneath us while we go through what looks like Egyptian Silent Hill? I sound like a disgusted Crash Bandicoot right there. Welcome to the hell. Oh, it is! It's a Penumbra game! It's a Penumbra game! It's a Penumbra game! Yes! That's a speaker! Oh. Oops. It's a speaker! It's a Penumbra game! Hold it! Hold it! Penumbra! Penumbra! Woohoo! Oh, that feels so goddamn good. I am so glad I played that trilogy. Uh, anyone who hasn't seen them on my channel yet, or hasn't played them themselves, you're welcome to go play them yourselves, but they do cost money. Uh, go and watch my uh, Penumbra trilogy games, and also Twilight of the Archaea. Because Penumbra were the three games that basically gave Frictional Games their final platform to make Amnesia the Dark Descent. And what's most impressive about uh, the Penumbra games is that they were made on a 2D engine. It is a third person game, it's a first person game, sorry, in 3D, made on a 2D engine. That is insane. I don't know how they did it, but it looks like this is a Penumbra game. Oh, no wonder Scott recommended this to me. It's gonna be a, ah. Oh, what kind of psyop have we gone through now? Venture Report, 17th of March, 1987, by Jacob Williams, head researcher at the Penumbra games. That feels so good. We have revived, uh, in the Penumbra games, right, I got that Icelandic accent because I was doing the Penumbra games, which takes place in Iceland. I was voicing everyone like that. And Jake Williams was the head researcher during the Penumbra games, so I nailed the voice because it's a Penumbra game. Well, that's actually very cool. It is, isn't it? It's actually sick. I love the Penumbra games, and it's really cool to see somebody finally give a nod to the earlier games that Frictional Games just absolutely nailed rather than just Amnesia the Dark Descent because it was meme worthy and obviously you can mod it but come on that you cannot you cannot look past the genius that is the Penumbra games 
We have succeeded in reactivating the core of the historic machine, but we are still trying to discover its actual purpose. Everyone on our venture is still having restless nights. Coincidental, it all started ever since. This old machine is operational. Probably the team is very or almost too excited about our progress. A team member found an appropriately, approximately 100-year-old piece of paper somewhere in the rubble. It appears to be the diary of someone named Lucas Brighton. Here are a few keywords and sentences we could still recover. The diary of Lucas Brighton, 25th of July, 1840. Even our saviour died because acid in the water system, the only one unaffected by nightmares. Asim Whitley also. The most interesting part is that we had found another name. We have figured out that this Adam Whittler worked with the great-grandfather of our supervisor. His name was Dr. Moses Yingle. In fact, we found out Mr. Whittler was the boss of a corporation Dr. Yingle worked for. We are now even closer to discovering what this whole clandestine project was about. I'm sure Rudolf Yingle will be pleased when hearing these results. So, at this time, a huge... Thousands of, I think, 10,000-year-old uh, group, a cabal of people, of powerful elites, called the Twilight No, called the Archaic, called the, the Archaic Cast, they basically set up this uh, gigantic pop-up laboratory in Iceland to study a gigantic um, artifact called Artifact uh, the 087B or something like that. No, that's, that's SCP. It was a, a gigantic artifact of some description. Let's get our lantern back out. Why have we got a lantern? We were psy -opt. We were definitely psy into thinking that we were in fact the person we thought we were, but we were not. Which is why we found the dead body of the guy we thought we were. That is awesome. Uh, there's two ways we can go actually. There's this way, which has a door at the end here, and there's also just over here. So the Archaic cast, basically their function was to try and, much like SCP, ah, uh, this is locked, of course it is, they were basically, don't tell me a giant worm's about to pop out of it. Oh no. Oh, okay. Uh, can I have my mouse back? Thank you. They were trying to find all of these kind of artifacts and uh, keep them from the potential to be used negatively. They didn't use them themselves, any of these artifacts, and this one here, the artifact that we were following, gave us all of the save stations that you see all across uh, Amnesia of the Dark Descent, as well as all the Penumbra games. And our father... Oh, I tried to pick these up because these are painkillers in Penumbra. Um, our father in that game was one of the head researchers in that game. Damn, I've got to go, dude. Got to get some sleep before I disappear among the shadows. Can you tell me when the next stream will be? I don't want to miss it. I have been streaming earlier recently. I'm aiming for daily streams, but if you hop into my Discord, there is a channel called Live Alerts, and I will update it every single time I'm about to go live an hour in advance, and I will delete the message as soon as I stop being live. So that is how you can tell exactly when I'm live. If you want a link to my Discord, you'll find that in any of my... Uh, recently published videos in the description. It's in all of them. Oh, this is so cool. Scott, you have done it again. Well done. Well done. It was nice to hang out, Alexian016. Uh, I'll see you again sometime. Thank you, dude. I'm already on your Discord. Welcome to the Discord. Uh, come hang out. Come chat. Come chat. There's some chat sometimes. It's good chat sometimes. Sometimes it's crap chat, but sometimes it's good chat. There's also memes I dump pretty frequently as well. Okay. Let's read this last thing and then polish off this mod because I can almost guarantee that we're at the end of it now. Uh, right, yeah, sorry, uh, before I get into it, uh, the artifact that we found gave everybody nightmares as well. Good night, dude, see you. Good night, Alexiano16, you have a great night. The artifact that we found gave everybody nightmares and eventually turned everybody into the monsters that follow us around. They had a name as well in Penumbra. They were big green guys. They were, they were big, uh, kind of rotting green guys. Uh, I can't remember what the name is. We'll find it somewhere in this mod. I can almost guarantee it. We wanted to proceed further to find more on the Human Life Safeguarding Project Adam Widler. I don't know how to say his name. Widler started somewhere around here, and boy, we did. We found the steel melting plant underground. That's where Red died, I think. This is amazing, of course, who was so brilliant to put that here in secret all this time. The unfortunate thing now is that we cannot proceed any further because we had not anticipated to find such a setting in the middle of nowhere. So now we do not have the proper protection clotting against at least a thousand degrees heat produced by that area. 
The nightmares are getting worse though. Some are even dreaming the exact same thing. The most stated nightmare is the one where stone statues appear in groups and they whisper things like, we are disobedient to a witless terror. We must be freed from the great power of the temple. Although these nightmares occur frequently, the motivation stays strong among our colleagues. Even the collapsing danger does not stop us. We have to put wooden beams all over the place to hold everything firmly. I do hope the electrical power remains stable, otherwise the doors will not open, and we had some trouble with that lately. Still, I think it is a hassle to have some door switches on the computers, but I can understand the security reasons. Right. Oh, what were they called? Okay, we've just opened a door. And possibly let something in. What were they called? Oh, I, I can't for the life of me remember. Nah, it's not coming to me. It's not coming to me. It started with that. Oh, hello there. Uh, I suppose they point the way, right? Okay. So we're going this way. Uh, oh, oh, we who have lost the lights. Ah, that's what the mods call. Wait, the stone spirits who wander here for at least a century. We who have been physically restrained, even in the hereafter. Punished by a dark soul that has discovered the temple and abused its power it inhabits. Help us find the regulator, destroy the power source and free not only the living, but yourself. Genius. This mod is genius. It's actually genius. Most of the game we have already played, up until the last, like, 15 minutes, complete red herring. It's just a narrative to fill in the narrative. I love this! That is so clever! Oh no, is there gonna be more? No shot. No sh- Oh no. No shot, we're actually gonna be playing a Penumbra game from now on. Oh, the meat is everywhere. I don't know why I went left. I just chose to go left. Fun. Uh, that is a gigantic generator, I think. Nothing to do on this. I'll leave the door open when we leave. There's nothing in here to use, unfortunately. Okie dokie. Yeah, so the Penumbra games were... Uh, what the hell is that? Quite textbook, in the sense that they had a... very, very strange kind of roundabout way of showing their maps. It was very, very square and symmetrical and strange and I don't really know how else to describe it, but it was eerie, liminal almost. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Okay, indeed. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, wow, we were. Good grief. Whoa. Someone busted down these doors, hilarious. Oh, this brings back memories. Typewriter. Nice. Let's uh, pick this up and maybe we'll throw it against somebody's face if they jump scare us. I don't see any corpses, though, per se. Uh, can we take a drink? No, we can't. Right. What's in here? What? That is a very well illuminated... Uh, what's my doodle? That crankshaft looks busted. Okay, that typewriter's not going to fix it, apparently. Good to know. What is that? Bird. What? What? Dog. Cat. Huh? Are they supposed to be like audio triggers? Because I'm not seeing the bird. Bird, dog, cat. Okay, got to remember that for some reason. Anything on the edge of here? No, just a crate. All right, let's go through. And we'll see what else we have to dizzle with with. Okay, that's not going to work. What do we just write down? The generator does not work because a lot of parts are missing. I need to find at least four parts and some tools to make it function again. This looks hard to fix. Mm, yeah, maybe for somebody who hasn't played Penumbra before, my um, silly hero, but I have played Penumbra before. Let's adjust our eyes to the back of this thing. Probably need to take off a giant panel of some... <laughs> ah! Uh, uh, tearing yourself out? That's, uh, press. Okay. That actually scared the ever-loving crap out of me. 
I did not expect that at all. Whatsoever. Oh, we're not going to find any more oil, are we? <laughs> yeah, this thing's buggered. Okay. Great. Uh, let's go back and we will find ourselves another few tools, I suppose, then. There is a candle here, which would uh, insinuate that somebody is, in fact, here. And maybe has been kind of harassing us this whole time with, like, audio cues. I'm suspecting that it's going to be red. There's barrels here, too. Strange. It's in here. Nothing. Can't access that. Television. Good. What's in here? That was a corpse of some description. Okay, don't know what that is, but I picked it up. I wanted to throw this chair. Didn't work. Uh, where's the button? Button? Ah. Electrical casing looks old and fragile. Maybe I can throw something at it. How about a wooden chair? Yep, that'll do the trick. What is in here? Woo! Woo! This may attract some rude dudes, but I feel like we've actually just bought ourselves a bit more time. Okay, there's meat everywhere down here. I'm pretty sure that's where we came from. No, that's definitely where we came from. What's in here? Is there anything in here? Uh, I think that was where we actually did come from. So if we just go straight this time, we may find exactly what we need. All right, the shadow has come down into the Kodumbra game. I feel like what the developer is trying to go for is that the shadow, which chased Daniel in the Amnesia the Dark Descent game, is currently also not only defending the orbs, but also defending all of the other artifacts that the Archaic cast may have been trying to collect. Which might also suggest that the Archaic cast were not doing good things. Okay, we're locked in here. We've got an airlock. Looks like we're going to another zone. Oh, I was expecting that to be quite final. Oh, no. Okie dokie. Uh, there's a rock or a spider egg there. That is so cool. I love this. I actually love this. Okay, we've got a closet that we can hide in in case we get ambushed or ransacked. Crappy beard. Not gonna bother with it. What's in here? I would honestly give uh, one of my nuts right now for a little bit of oil. Like a little bit of oil. God, I should have got, um... Sorry, I, sh I should have got a little bit of Spanish just before Alexino left. Such a shame. What the hell is this? Another uh, spider egg or rock? Can't tell. Another one. Okie dokie. This one's got a light on it. Don't know how full of confidence that'll give us. A key. Meeting room key. Oh, this is such a far cry from what we were just playing. This was such a far cry. What the hell was that? May have been a monster. Okay, nothing there, nothing there. I think we're completely out of oil as well. Hopefully we're gonna find, um, maybe a... Hi, Billy Mays here. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're going a little bit insane going down here, unfortunately. Okay, so Billy Mays is confirmed in the game. That's not great. Someone was requesting Billy May's uh, content a couple of a couple of weeks ago, actually, while I was streaming. In here, is this the meeting room? No, must for the door at the center of this hallway. Okay. Okay, we try going this way. It didn't quite work. This is actually a lot airier. Got to be said than obviously without that Billy May's uh, the troll right there. It's a lot airier than Penumbra was. Blood leads behind this door. Cannot be good. Oh, well, let's see what they're meeting about. Hello? Oh! Oh! Hello! Hello there! Whoa! I am actually loving- I'm speechless! There's a naked guy. Watching a flickering light here. 
I've got a weapon. Oh, where is it? I've got a, I've got a weapon. Okay. Can we touch his computer? Can we touch his dingling? No. Okay, we can't do either of those. Let's, um... He does not look decent. Let's, let's, uh, cover up his exposed genitals, I think. That's enough. And we will get out of here. Actually, this will probably do the trick, right? Missed. How did I overshot a typewriter? Is that a goblet? There's a literal goblet here. It's funny. All right, what's in here? Nothing. There's a sack of potatoes in this medicine cabinet. That's a little bit strange. What's in here? Nothing. In the trash can? Nothing. Can we go in here? No, it's been locked, which is not amazing. What the hell is that? Uh. Hell? Weird. Let's try to use the uh, screwdriver on this door. Nope, didn't work. Right. Okay, there's another one of these things up here. They look like flowers, don't they? Okay, good. Uh, let's look in the... No, we can't look in this. Can we use the screwdriver on it, maybe? No, can't. Alright, so we're in a bit of a precarious situation on account of the fact that we can't leave. Everything is locked. We can't leave. What if we use the screwdriver on this guy? What if we use the hammer and chisel on this? No, doesn't work. A lot of closets would probably make me think we're about to be attacked by something. No, nothing. No, nothing. Uh, let's try use this little orb on this naked man right here with the chair on his crotch. I don't think I did that. Okay, it doesn't work. What about screwdriver on the computer? No. No object to use it on, apparently. There's no computer in here. Yep, little bit lost, not gonna lie. I don't even know what this J thing is. Uh, potatoes, not really vibing what they're all about. So, what the hell? Can we just like, not go through here anymore? Are we stuck in here? Uh, I feel like we're kind of stuck a little bit. Maybe just a, a smidge, right? We're a little bit stuck. Oh my god, damn, that actually scared me again. Because I was turned around and I didn't see the S on his chest, so I thought he'd gone. What an asshole. What an actual asshole. Okay, that one's completely locked. Are we just supposed to beat the door down or something? Because that was a thing in Penumbra, which is why I keep trying it. No, maybe not. Okay, there's another one over yonder's way. This way here. I know we can go through here somehow. I know it's possible. Screwdriver? No. Right. Little bit perplexed. Is there anything on these tables? I don't actually think so. Just some flickering lights, uh, epilepsy warning, and this, of course, uh, very naked and happy to be so man. Oh. That'll do the trick. Ah. Ah. How meaty. Great. It's throbbing. It's throbbing at me. That's excellent. I love the throb. Oh, and this is unlocked. Ish. Okay. okay. I tried to go in here before. Whoa, okay. What is this? I hate this. I actually hate this. What the hell is going on? What is this? What is this? <laughs> Yellow generator key. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't go that way, apparently. Okay, we're going this way. Down this way. Down this way. Why can't I go that way? Why am I why am I not going to the red? Why am I going to the blue? Why why can't I? Ooh. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. That sounds bad. That sounds really, really bad. He's coming for me! I need to run! Okay. No! He's coming from No, he's coming from that way! We need to go this way. Okay, I think I'm too far away from him. Yeah, I'm a little bit too far away from him. He can't see me, which is actually really funny. Uh, let's go this way, because the other ways were kind of blocked off, weren't they? So we got two Jenny pieces. Maybe that's what they meant when they were talking about Jenny in those notes earlier. Earlier. Okay, shut that. I'm pretty sure we can just leave this area here now, right? Get the hell out of here. Ooh, okay. Hello? Red? Ah. Oh. Tease! The speakers. That's what Red used to communicate with us in the in the uh, Penumbra games, the speaker system. 
which would also tell us that he's not dead yet. It's not here. Where does this go? Oh, no, we don't want to be there. We certainly don't want to be in there, I don't think. No, we definitely don't want to be in there. Right. So now we've got two of the... This is what uh, we require, right? We've got these... Oh, we got three, actually. Great. So we're probably done in this area. We're probably done in this area. We can go to the other side of... We can go to the other side of here. We can go into the airlock, of course. And we will go back into the kind of main hallway, the player hub, if you will. Because on the other side of here, there is another one of these doors. It's still really dark in here, though. But, uh, very upsetting. So on the other side of here, there should be another door, if I remember correctly, uh, with kind of like a staircase leading up. Yep, here it is. And through there is that staircase. So we're going in here. We'll close that, and we will open this. This is sick. I love this so much. I don't like this at all. I completely take back everything I just said. A uh, screwdriver? No. Uh, we're supposed to interact with that, apparently. Right. Why the blood? Why, why all of the, the blood? There's only so much blood in the human body. I'm pretty sure you've exceeded the the human capacity, right? What's this one? Why isn't there any oil here? We obviously need light. Get through half these areas. Move that out of the way. The hell is this? Oh. Oh. That's cool. That's not cool. That sucks. That sucks. I take all of that back. That sucks. That absolutely sucks. Nothing. 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 Can we open this? Oh, I think I just hit myself in the face with it. Uh, let's put these all back in so we can open this bad boy up. And we'll take this typewriter with lore on it. Great. Diary of Rudolf Yingle, 19th of July, 1987. Finally, we found the hidden temple. It is a disturbing place with unusual noises and very old blood samples all over the place. I installed a heavy gate there so no one can ruin our investigation. I want no sniffing around. Our archaeologists found a lot of remains of people down there. The opposite of what we were actually expecting. Despite all this horror, I believe we have found the source of power we were looking for, but we are still trying to figure out how it exactly works. You cannot touch it with bare hands, it generates a lot of heat. I still remember the first time one of the laboratory assistants tried to take it to the lab and his head literally exploded. It is hard to deal with such power. I do hope people will be smart enough around here to understand the animal feed code with the fuse keys for our big generator. Doing it in the right order is the hard part, so one's more to remind myself. One's, not one. One. Removing casing of the left of the fuse input center. Remember it is firmly screwed. Insert the power stone energy. We have that if we're able to extract the damn stuff again. Feed the animals fuses from small to big in this exact order. Now pull the switch in the center and everything is up and running again. My father will be proud of me once I manage the power of the regulator and finish it like they wanted to. Once the generator one runs, we can enter the basement again. Stupid lock system. This nonsense took way too long, long now. I must also not forget, I had the gate key under my Stefano st statue in the research- that's a PewDiePie thing, by the way. In the research room just before you enter the temple. Nobody will touch that hideous thing anyway. This desk also, move ugly carpet, temporary cover up. The rest of the diary is covered in blood and illegible. I wonder what an illegible is. Uh, let's take this and see how deep this is. One, two, okay. That's quite deep, actually. It's excessively deep. There is something to break over here, so I am bound by literal honor, code of the samurai, to break it. And we will now go down into the bowels of this area. Oh, there's some oil. Nice. Okay, so we have to climb. Ah! Okay, well, at least the drugs fell through, and we've got our trusty typewriter here, too. Yoink. Enemies? It is so weird to play this on a Penumbra game. It is so weird to be here. Okay, we can't go back up that way. Uh, looks like... Whoa, okay, that was jank. That was so jank. Looks like we can go back up this way, I think. Or, this is the way to that dead corpse who has the oil that we actually really need. Okay, good. And we're up here. Need to do a crouch, please. Please crouch. Good. And now, seriously, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
He just chose to break his ankles. What a dick. Seriously? Okay, we have to take like a lord in him as soon as we leave the safety and sanctity of this ladder. Okay, crouch, good. And now go through. All right, let's take our laudanum and then we will leave this area here because obviously there's no way up. It is busted, really, really busted. And we will just go the way God intended, which is this way, through this gate here. I doubt there's gonna be anything up that uh, vent other than the oil, which we may, may need. We may need the oil. Oh, there's a button on it. Good, here and here and here and parkour. Nice. Excellent. Ah, here's one of the artifacts. Nice. Excellent. We have found the power source as expected, sir. It is confirmed being in the temple, but things have gone horribly wrong. A lot of men died. Most of the information remains in the temple, and we must find a, get a, a way to get it back. Cool. Cool. Okay, good. Under the Stefano statue. Right there. Great. Excellent. And there's nothing else in here, is there? No. Good. Yes. So this is the temple from uh, Penumbra. Three, I think. The third Penumbra game. Uh, there is a corpse that just got dragged away in there. I saw it slightly too soon. Oh my god. This... The scale of the Penumbra games has yet to be matched in many other forms of media. This game is kind of getting there. Okay, what's down here? What's down here? What is 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 down here? The temple resembles pure evil. You don't know that. You don't know that it's evil. Okay. Someone's laughing in there. Open this bad boy up. Okay. Three paths we can go down. One down here. One to the right. I'm hoping it does not connect up. It does connect up. No way. Okay. So there's probably going to be a chase sequence somewhere in this area too. Okay, that's annoyingly locked. We're going through the darkness here. Nothing over there just yet. And through here, there's probably going to be another door. Don't know if it's locked. A lot of boxes. A lot of crap, actually. A lot of crap. No oil anywhere at all. Kind of sucks. I was hoping to have had some by now. We've been down here for a wee while. Been down here for a, for, a, for a little bit of a hot minute. Oh my god, this place is huge. Okay, fine. I'll have to do my sweeps. Uh, this is a door we can go in. Hello? No, nothing. Just some files, some boxes, and a bunch of crap. There's also a ladder that goes up. Check for oil first. Nothing. No, nothing. Okay, we'll go up this ladder and we'll see what is up here. Because there may actually be something worth having up here. I don't know. We, we just don't know. We just don't know. What is up with this developer? Oh my god! Uh, I expected that too. I expected that to happen. What is up with the developer and making the ladder slightly too short for human consumption? Ah! Picked up the power. Stone room key. The meat! The meat has come. Oh god, I can't believe I just said that. I can't believe I actually just said that. I can't believe I actually just said the words, the meat has come. That's like some cringe fanfic kind of stuff right there. And this fanfic is not cringe. Gotta be said, not a cringe fanfic. Okay, almost at the bottom. I don't want to jump off early because I know that we'll break our ankles. Hey, fro, oh my god, that is a pose, isn't it? That is a power move right there. Okay. I usually go with like, uh, kind of like the pose of a star jump when I want to do a, a power pose, but he's just absolutely nailed just having his dongus flinging out all over the place. Very impressive. Very impressive donger work. Uh, at least like that. So we know we've been down here. Although there are some that have been lit, so we can't really know for certain if we've been down here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing down here. Just a little bit of insanity. And of course, a number of nostalgia. A lot of a number of nostalgia. Ooh. Can we open this? Power stone room key. Oh, okay. I want to explore further. I know there's more rooms. I know there's more rooms indeed. This one. Including. Don't jump me now! Oh, this is a torture room, very clearly. A lot of torture items. Ah! <laughs> I was about to say, wouldn't it suck if somebody just flew out of there? Okay, brazen bull, there's no one in it. That's funny, actually. The hell? 
That is not how the brazen bull works. Okay. Okay. The brazen bull, you... Uh, well, the brazen bull was invented by this... The brazen bull was invented by uh, a, a man who invented the torture device and then presented it to the king of Minas, I think. Minas, I don't know how to say it, I read it. I read all these facts. And the king of Minas was so impressed. Or was it the Mysonian king? Oh, I don't know. The king was so impressed that he uh, said to his guards, put him in it. And then the guards put the torturer into the brazen bull and they lit the fire beneath it and it did exactly as it said. The screams kind of came out of the bull's nose as this deep kind of like trumpeting sound. It made it to sound like a bull. And he was cooked. He was cooked from the inside out and he didn't die immediately. He died uh, over about a few hours of his injuries, of course, from his own torture machine. Um, probably the greatest example of karma that has ever been put on display in the world. Okay, let's go in here next. Uh, what is this? Oh no. There's got to be something nice in here, right? There's so many boxes. How could there not be? Or is it just storage? Is it? Oh, there's a bucket. Ooh. Damn, this wooden bucket is powerful. Oh my god, and it's empty. Alright, gotcha. We probably need to fill it up with some power stone residue or some crap like that, right? Some absolute crap drivel like that. Still looking for more doors. Looking for more doors like a hobbit. Nothing. Okay. So let's go through the next caged area. I want to go in there. I think we've been in there. Here we go. This is where we want to be. Want to go in here. Ah! That would have been nice to have seen while I was outside the cage. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, game. A little bit of oil. It goes a long way. Thank you very much. What is this? Ow. Okay, let's get a bucket on this thing. Can I use the item in this way? Can I use the screwdriver on it? No. Piss. Okay, so... Power source orb is bling hot. I need to cool it down somehow. I do feel moisture in the air. There must be some water in the orb room. Okay. We've got a wooden bucket, actually. Can we use common sense? No. We'll need to find some kind of liquid around the place, it seems. What is this? That is a creepy podium. Thank you, uh, Curiosity, for showing me this. It's around here. Nothing around here. A little bench, a little sacrificial altar. Never really hurt anybody. Until it hurt somebody, of course. Oh, water. Really? That easy? Ah, okay. I don't think water's actually going to cool it down, but I'll, I'll try. Boop. My head is exploding. Too much force. Leave this temple. Run. What? But I don't have the objective! Oh, I think I took a hit. I didn't actually get attacked. I thought I got attacked. Okay, we're actually taking a lot of hits. Are we gonna die? Are we gonna die? Oh, hello there, everybody. Uh, let's go around this way in the dark, because again, no oil anywhere. Still can't really sprint. I don't think our health is looking A-OK -okay either. How is it looking? Uh, barely conscious. We don't have any laudanum, so let's just persevere onwards until we die, I suppose. Right. Okay, so we'll come along here. I don't like how the attacks just... Oh, hello there, sir. They kind of throw us off. Right, sleep. That should transport us to the entrance, I think. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Or not. That's also an option. Oh, we did actually grab it. Okay, got it. Great. So, let's push through with all of our invigorized health. And I'll readjust the camera every time we take a hit. Because we are taking many, many hits. Okay, like... I don't know how hard it would have been to program a flashlight into this game. But Penumbra was famous for its flashlights. Uh, are we going in here? Is this it? Is this it? We're following these guys here? I, I just don't know. I just don't know. It seems as though that is actually the case, right? We're almost here. Here? Uh, no, this is the box room, unfortunately. We have absolutely whipped our chance to leave. It seems like we're in a bad place. These guys are blocking this way, so we can't go that way, so we probably just have to keep going this way, regardless of how we feel about continuing on this way. Through the halls. 
through the fire and the flames. Okay, we've got to go onwards through these uh, kind of flickering stone boys. Absolutely fine. Uh, we're probably not in a very good spot at this point, right? And the chase sequence that I was talking about, this is it. I literally cannot see Dick Dizzle. We are almost dead. Maybe like one or two more hits and we are dead. We are... Uh, just one. Okay. We're very, very close to the e entrance though. We know what we must do. We know what we must do. We know what we must do. Oh, I've already taken my first hit. Okay. Thanks, game. We've got to go all the way around these dickheads. Because for some reason they seem to want us dead as much as uh, they died themselves. Which is not cash money at all. We can't go into any rooms, we can't go into any door frames, it seems, and it's, again, like, we don't really have a choice but to just strain our eyes and run forward. Gotta be said, this portion of the game could have really done with half a tank of oil. I feel like, I feel like we were dicked out of a lot of the tension of this area here, because we don't have any oil, okay? They still flip, apparently. And why am I not running? I'm holding the sprint button. I'm just not running. The screen shake is heinous. Uh, this, this portion here, probably not amazing. Gotta be said, not amazing. Okay, this is where we died last time. We're very, very close to the end. We don't want to... We do want to go in here. Apparently this is the exit. And we should be virtually dead. Not well designed, that area. Not well designed, not gonna lie. Um, we are now dead and there are no healing items around to heal us up. Uh, there are no, I know like death has no repercussions, but there are no healing items, there's no oil, so getting through that. Once you get halfway through that, you literally can't see anything unless you just squint and guess. I did a lot of guessing through that and I still can't really see now. Uh, don't know what that says. I don't know if this is a save point, but I do know from Penumbra that the the text that you get on that is definitely representative of uh, the I think either the first person that touched the device or it is uh, kind of like another you in another reality. I was never really sure on that. So we got to go up here apparently to leave, which means mastering the jank crouch system, unfortunately. But it's fine. It's something I'll do. We will climb up here. We have no health, so if we fall off of here once we die, we can probably make it up here. But unfortunately, not... Uh, this is also badly designed. I, I gotta be... Okay, jump and crouch actually does work. Good to know. I didn't actually know that was a mechanic, and i played a lot of these custom stories so far. Jump scare? Oh, it's him! Hey, buddy! No. No, non-consensual. Oh, because he's in the way. No, he's not. Okay, good. We'll get this oil. We'll get this oil. Yeah, that uh, tension scene, like a lot of the custom stories that we've played so far, that forced action scene has uh, robbed a lot of the horror out of the game. That jump scare probably would have got me. I probably would have been scared by that booty, by that uh, swiggity swooty, but unfortunately... The action kind of uh, robbed the game of a lot of the tension. And there's going to be another jump scare around here, I can almost guarantee it. Nope, apparently not. Nope, definitely not. Good, probably at the top of this though, right? Unfortunately, because of the action sequence, I'm not actually going to jump. Okay, and we're at the top. Great. And here we are, coming out of the vent. Coming out of the vent, and I've been doing just fine. Someone put the rug back over the hole. That's not very nice. Okay. So, I uh, don't know the point of that. Uh, probably could just ignore it, to be quite fair. So, we've got a set of tools. We've got a uh, yellow generator key, blue generator key, red generator key, last power stone. Let's check to see if we need anything else. I need to find at least four parts. Great, we have at least four parts. And we've got a tool. So, we can now fix the generator, which is actually awesome. Uh, we can see what else this mod has to offer, or even, if we're approaching what I can only interpret to be, a sense of finality. Okay, we want to go up, 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 into here, and throw this door open as well. It goes outwards, it seems. 
Wonderful. And now we are going to start fixing this bad boy as well. So, we have to decode this as well. A bird. Dog. Cat. I don't know what this means. Bird, dog, cat. Oh, the label reads meat, label reads fish, label reads worm. Bird eats the worm. Oh, okay. Fine. I'll figure it out later. Right, so what does the note say? It is... There it is. One, remove the casing on the left of the fuse input center. Remember, it is firmly screwed. Yep, seems fairly screwed, doesn't it? And that is probably not going to be useful just yet. Did we find any oil? We did, actually. So this is going to go a lot easier than it did just before. Okay. Whoa, oh my god. Okay, I just phased through a gigantic sheet of metal. I am literally unkillable. I am, I am, a, I have a god complex right now because of it. Okay, I'm going to look around for this sheet. Probably a good use of the lantern right now. Okay, that sounds horrifying. Let's use it on this. No, can't use the item on this way. Are you sure? No, definitely not. Right, so down here there was this jump scare with this naked man. Maybe down here is where the... Panel is? It's not. It's not actually down here. What? Oh, apparently that was something to grab. What? What did I grab here? Nothing. Maybe I have to spin it myself. I think I'm going to have to, like, jump start this generator. I think that's going to be the case. Okay, first piece of the puzzle. Where the hell is this hatch? It's not this, right? It's not this? No, it is not that. Where is it? Is it this? Maybe? No, it is not that. Is it this? No, it is not that. Right. Uh, that's not good. Maybe we just, like... No, can't use those. Get that lantern off for now, and we'll bring our note back up. Remove the casing on the left of the fuse input center. Uh, that's either... If that's not on the machine, then it's got to be on these consoles here. To the left of the fuse input center. Which might be on this gigantic... Ah, here we go. It's here. Wonderful. Right here. And this is... Where we put the power stone. Oops. Uh, so, number two is power stone energy. Number three is feed the animals. So... No, we want to use this. Boop. Wonderful. And then we want to feed them. So... First one is... Bird. Bird has the worm. Good. Uh, dog has the meat. Uh, come on. Dog has the... Okay. Cat has the fish, which is also a meat. I don't really understand why we're not going to address that. Okay, that's up and ready. And now... Pull the switch in the center and everything is up and running again. Switch in the center. That's over here. That's on the actual generator, I think. And I'm probably going to have to kickstart it by hand, right? Oh. Okay, there we go. We've got lights. Great! Excellent! Okay. Uh, not entirely sure where we're supposed to be going now, but we have just turned on all of the lights. Oh, it'll enable the door, right, in the previous area that we were just in. Not here. That is one of the areas that we don't want to go into. Have we been in here? Yeah, we've definitely been in there. This is where we found the screwdriver. So we are going back. We're going back. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going back. Otherwise, the meat would have blocked off this zone right here. So, sharp piss. Okay. So we got to stay here, it seems. Maybe we just go, like, straight ahead. And that should be the answer? I'm suspecting that's going to be the answer. This is so much YouTuber inside jokes, by the way. Oh, here we are. Yeah, this is it. Nice! We did it! Okay, what's next? What more could you possibly do to wow us? This does feel very final, though. Very final indeed! Good grief! Please don't be a portal reference. Whoa! Oh, that's what they were talking about! There were notes about this in the old, um, in the old area that we were exploring. 
So what the hell are we supposed to be doing with this? We still have the power stone and we've got a screwdriver, so we could probably sabotage this, right? Well, that's not good. Uh, that's actually really bad. Right, uh, we will look around these computers, I suppose. A couple of electrical boxes over there, not particularly interested. I think our first point of action is not really going to be on any of these computer terminals. Oh, that one's been knocked over. That guy had to leave in a hurry, I bet. Hell? Oh, right, okay. It was just a divider, a giant partition. Excellent. So, what is this? No idea. Don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure that we can jam a crystal into it. Okay, fine. If you insist, right. So, there's a power stone there. There is no power stone here. Okay, yeah. No. Oh no. Uh. Help. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this, because it looks really cool. I got it. I did it. I overheated the regulator, but this place is about to blow. This place already blows. Okay, we'll get our lamp on. Ah, don't know where to Ah, this way, okay. We're gonna go down the uh, Silent Hill Hell Tunnel, it seems. Whoa, I don't know what's going on, but I don't want to be a part of it. Whoa! My God, look at this! This is huge! We just ran out of oil, but I think it's absolutely fine. Good grief! I love this! This imagery is actually big. Oh, that's so low. See, this is what I was talking about when I said that Penumbra was kind of like the last games to nail the scale of the arcade, uh, like, well. Whoa, I love this so much! Okay, we're almost at the end. What bad is going to come of this? Okay, that was strange. I didn't see that coming at all. We can't go that way, apparently. I think that was supposed to be walled off. Uh, that's walled off, that's walled off. Can't go that way, apparently. Uh, that's weird. As hell. Uh, okay, I'm not entirely sure what happened to the quality of the animations. All of a sudden, but... Very, very... Jarring. That was, that was a very, very weird jarring sequence. This wasn't a dream cycle, was it? Surely not. Surely not. It wasn't a dream cycle. Surely not. We're not going to wake up in our bed and be all like, Oh, yeah, my name is Clyde. Um, uh, Bert Douglas. Whatever it was. Why are we facing that way? Oh, dear. Oh, uh, another one. I hear civil defense sirens in the distance. What is happening? You have just kicked off the world's largest earthquake, my dude. Oh. Piss off, door. Don't give me your guff now! Ooh. It's happening. It's happening! We made it outside! Oh no. We made it outside. This is the temple. Oh. Piss. Wait a minute. What year is it? It's supposed to be like 1987, right? Okay, so it's not a war. So that's not an air raid at all. I think we're supposed to go this way. That looks like a door to me. I saw it through the map as well. It was very strange. The destruction of the regulator must have created all of this chaos. Honestly, I don't see a lot of chaos. I, I just kind of like hear a lot of sirens. I hear a lot of guns. Oh, that's why we started this mod in the long grass. I see. So it was always modern-ish. Modern-ish, like 30 years ago, I suppose. Still very cool. I have freed the living and the dead of Wilder and his terror. Ah, uh, whoops. Uh, I'm stuck. Okay, I freed myself. I think the tree was a little bit glitchy. Oh no. You know, to, to really sell the uh, air raid that's going on and the guns and such, they could have just like put in temporary lights in the trees every now and then, just make them flash, make them seem like uh, bombs went off or gunshots and stuff. That would have been a good touch. That would have been a really, really good touch. That's what I would have done. But without some form of control, I doubt people could handle their freedom. All right, Hitler. Okay, let's get out of here. 
Or Sauron. Probably more like Sauron, actually. That was Sauron's curse. Uh-oh! The new world war has seen its horizon. And it was then when I realized... The consequences of total government liberation. Anarchy! Creating chaos and death was not the intention, but at least the dead can rest now. I came back to save lost souls in realms so black like the darkest holes. Now let me rest, I won the fight. I lost my life, but found the light. That was Alexander of Brandenburg, wasn't it? That was really good! That was by far the best one we've seen, and obviously there's been kind of like jank moments. But the only downside that I could have possibly said is that that one force action sequence kind of removed the horror temporarily, right? But there was very little horror after that, other than, of course, the ass being thrown into your face in the air vents. That was damn good! The application of that forced horror, uh, the forced action sequence in the catacombs where we were taking hits over and over again, that was visually frustrating. It was doable. It was fair. It was good. I'm speechless, honestly. The, the, the acknowledgement of Penumbra, um, the application of Amnesia the Dark Descent mechanics, the ability to go through the maps and still discover new things, very cool, very, very cool, very awesome. All models were taken from Amnesia and the Penumbra series. Nice. It took six months to create Lost Lights, and that is half a year. Oh, I hadn't considered that. I didn't really uh, realize that half of 12 was six. It took Thomas the Wolf two months to recreate the story and revise all of the English. But we are all glad uh, that we spent to friend time to create a fun game for you. For sound, music, and other information, go to info box file. And uh, last but not least, we will thank you for playing Lost Lights. I love that so much. That was such a good mod. That is going to be really hard to beat. I actually adored that. Even the mechanic of touching the uh, save artifact from Penumbra, and it still gives you context as to the last person that like touched it or the, the soul that's trapped in it. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Definitely an educated throwback to the entire franchise. From before Amnesia went into Amnesia Machine for Pigs, I think. I didn't see any reference to, like, Justine or Machine for Pigs, thankfully, because Justine was an ad and I haven't played Machine for, for Pigs yet. But that was fantastic. That was actually a really, really good custom story. Blown all of the other ones out of the water by far. Unfortunately, gotta be said, loved it. Not more else to be said about this game. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I had uh, fun playing it. It's always good to have people on the couch with me and chatting up in the corner. Speaking of fingers being pointed, right up here you're going to find the playlist for Amnesia Custom Series. And right up here I'll probably put in Penumbra number one so that you can see that game in its full entirety as well. And if you go into the description of this video, you'll see a link to my Discord. Why don't you join it? You can talk to me and my community personally and we can have some good chats. And until I make the next episode or next stream as indicated by the little red dot next to my name or an alert on my Discord, thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Goodbye!